song i don't worry about making money on this platform i worry about changing and making a truth if anybody is watching this video right now i welcome everybody who's here in the description box below this video you will see what someone wrote me something last night and even though they wrote me something last night they continue to blow my phone up from three o'clock in the morning up till now and then when i called them they had the nerve to be stuttering and not saying anything. And I'm not even sure why you called me if you weren't going to open your mouth and say something. So let's get this live cracking and started. I came in thanking Jesus that I got the victory. I'm not really sure what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, what I'm going to say, you know, but y'all know me. I just do what I do. I don't owe no man no explanation. The only person I truly owe something to is God. So I don't worry about what man do, but I do worry about how God will deal with me. Welcome, Miss Denson. Mama Denson, welcome you, beautiful queen, granny, Miss Williams, Miss Maria, Miss Dorsey, Miss Janie. Um, I hope I didn't forget nobody. Anybody else who come in later that I did not mention, Miss Betty, Miss Bobby, uh, Miss Moon, that God has been waiting for a long time. And I thank you for waiting for me to hear the message that I'm getting ready to deliver. Um, Miss Goddess said, they must don't know about Essie Berry. You really must don't know about me. If you stupid enough to be sitting up here picking up my phone and then you want to leave me a message. So the number that you see on this screen is a number that you guys can contact me on. And I will contact you back. It may be on a different phone, but I will contact you back. And if I don't contact you back, I got so much going on and so many people contacted me, then you can either try to contact me back or I'm trying to get around to all the phone calls and the emails that has came to me. So last night I went on live to do a live with C-Dub, which is Willie Norwood's son. I'm going to address some stuff in a little while what happened on there as well. But I want to get to this comment that y'all see at the bottom of my platform. When you see the comment is right up under the video and it says something about, I need to mind my business. This been going on for years. Mary Harvey ain't my friend. Why I got to worry about Mary business. Um, why can't I just go somewhere and shut up and leave Steve alone? I talked about, um, I talked about him, um, being abusive to Winton. Let me make sure this ain't nobody stupid calling because you ain't going to make me lose my train of thought. Yes. I hear my voice in the background, ma'am. You got to cut it down so I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Now, you know you're on live, right? So I'm, I got you on speakerphone. Go ahead. Okay. Listen, two things people haven't addressed yet. They mentioned in the call. When Ernest got a bail, it would be like $800,000. And they mentioned that they had an anonymous donor that were going to included to pay that amount of money. Who could possibly, who could they know that could possibly pay almost a million dollar bond? Second, why would Steve Harvey be able to, I guess, lend his house in Dubai so Ernest could go there? I'm thinking that there's some kind of connection between Shirley Strawberry and Curtis and, you know, that little situation. So, you know, let me know what you think. Okay. First of all, Steve Harvey been knowing Shirley for 20 years. She got married in 2013. So she got married in 2013. That's 10 more years added on to that. So you have to know birds of a feather flock together. We watched Shirley Strawberry be on the mic saying how broke she was. She ain't got no money. She's selling her houses. So one and one equals two. We know she got it from Steve Harvey, boo-boo. We know because she don't know about says going to give her that type of money for a pedophile, a pedophile whatever he is, a, a predator. I'll say that. So you know Steve, right. it, but she said on the video that he wasn't out of jail. So do if anybody know 100% 
whether he's out of jail or not. But how broke she said she was, the money she didn't have. She said she stand with friends and things like that. So I would think that Steve Harvey would have gave her the money to get him out. So they could coach him on what to say to not incriminate Steve Harvey. And I'm not trying to be funny when I say this. Um, and I'm still waiting on it. I got part of it, but there is a list of people that are going to jail and they're up for indictment. And I don't know if Steve think I'm playing. I don't say shit that I don't mean. Excuse me, you guys. But his name is on that list. So I just want to put that out there. Don't know what he done did, how a criminal he is. But you guys saw what I saw. And he was willing to let um, Cheryl Strawberry husband go to Dubai because of the simple fact he likes Cheryl Strawberry husband. Because anytime you can gag a woman, start selling stuff, and don't want her to say something, you make me think that and know that you have dark secrets to hide yourself. Birds of a feather flock together. And to let Ernest go there, he probably got some on Steve. And Steve trying to make sure that don't nobody tell it because he want to camouflage himself as a, he say the spectacular person that he is. Y'all know Steve helping that man and he helping Shirley. That's right. That's right. That woman is not only like that. She looks like that. She's playing the nut roll really good. Oh my goodness. This is really good. He knows way more than what she's letting on. But uh, yeah, they're all in cahoots. They're all in cahoots. And I think okay, you're you welcome, beautiful. I think everybody on this page agree. So we just answered that question for that lady. So let me go back some. So last night after I got off the live, Spook Media TV, they did videos on me because they're upset. Nobody is going to take the things personal that I'm saying unless they're emotionally and they're personally involved, no matter who they are. Also, they said that Mary was, was not my friend. So, you know, Mary, they said she never was my friend. So, you know that. So, if Mary was never my friend and Mary don't want me to be her friend and Mary never wanted me to be her friend and she's not my friend now, why would you think that I owe Mary any type of loyalty? What you are mad about is that I released a video this morning, you guys, and the link is in this box, where Mary talked about Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley, lie himself, went on his platform in 2017 to help Steve make Mary look bad and said that Steve gave Mary $6 million. He said that Mary was lying about a lot of stuff, but Ricky came and produced the receipts for the $6 million that he said Mary gave, I mean, Steve gave to Mary. So y'all, if you hear the video that I released this morning, Mary broke down how the houses were took, why they were took, which way they were took. And it really shows you how dirty and low down Steve Harvey is because he took all the videos and he threw them out. You know what I mean? He took all, all the houses and he threw her out the house. Hold on, you guys. I got another call. Go ahead, sweetie. Hello? Yes. Hi. I'm calling in. I want to comment on um, um, a lot of stuff. First of all, um, I've been following your story and I've been following um, your activism from the beginning. And as far as that person saying Mary is not your friend, whether she's your friend or not, you let her tell her truth and you went with facts. So and it's not about who's your friend or not. You have a mission because you're an activist and that's what you do. And then second of all, um, that person that said mind your business, they need to mind their business because why are they on your page? That's they they digging around all on your page. And then, as far as the abuse of Winton, I, I was following you when you released the video um, with Mary saying Winton was abused. Okay. Um, oh, and um, as far as people being nosy on your page, um, I've noticed a lot of bloggers use your content, but you're not being acknowledged or even not tagged. So when Steve made that comment about bottom feeders and one uh, blogger posted and then everybody shared, I feel as though that was about your page. So I'm the bottom feeder. That's, I feel that he was talking about you. Is that right? Yes. Um, he said um, he, all these black bloggers trying to make money off of uh, videos. And this, he said, 
one blog, say he said, check this out, this is how it goes. One blog will post something, um, and then everybody use that video and share it and share it and share it. So then the person who was trying to make money off the video don't get no money. Don't nobody get no money from YouTube once you break it down. That's what he said on the Shirley Strawberry Letter last week. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I thank you for that comment, baby. So I guess I'm the bottom feeder. So all you two YouTubers who got insulted, I don't think Steve may be talking about you because there's a lot of people like pulling co content off my page. Now, let me tell you some bloggers or whoever see my videos and you want to pull something off because it's the truth and I can prove it, then you can take the content. But what I don't want you to do is take my content off my page and you can't even pronounce my name. My name is S-C-E-S-S-I-E -S 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 -E Berry. B-E-R-R-Y. S-C Berry. Do not, if you don't even know how to pronounce my name. I'm not trying to be disrespectful because the next blogger that I see do that and you can't even pronounce my name, I might have your stuff snatched down. One, because you're putting stuff up there and 100%, I have enough evidence of anything that I say, but yet I have enough evidence of any and everything that I say. Should you get in trouble or someone don't like what you say, you need to make sure that you got my name right so when they come back for me, I can make sure that they don't have a nice day. I am not afraid of anything. I will not be silent until Steve Harvey stop lying and clear my name. And my next mission, you guys, and we're going to keep on playing this. I have at least five bloggers that's going to come on my site and not come on my site. I'm going to write to them and I'm going to get them to get their subscribers to get a petition started. Each blogger's site will get a petition started to take Steve Harvey off the radio and to take Steve Harvey off Hulu. So if you keep contacting me and threatening me, I'm going to take a little bit of legacy that he has left. I know how to do that. And I've just been nice because it's not about destroying a black man. What it is about is that Steve Harvey will lie when the truth will do. So it aggravated them to know that I put the video out about um, Ricky and Mary was talking about the houses. I got so much footage that Mary has given me. Are you really serious? Then they said that I need to shut up because I'm saying that Steve molested or tried to molest Mary's son. I did not say anything. Mary said it. So why are you coming at me? So I wonder if Mary was ungagged, would she be able to say the things that I am saying for herself? But unfortunately, it's allegedly because Steve got her gag because I say allegedly on that because even though i heard them say mary was gagged i never saw any documents saying that but tomorrow morning this is going to be an old video what was released but i want to refresh people's memory on what went down with me geneva closet will be breaking a lot of things in that video down because when i was in the case she wrote from beginning to end with me and it was almost like she documented my journey when i was being threatened by steve when i was being harassed by steve so many things were going on so i want y'all to listen to that video in the morning and there's also going to be a letter that geneva read the letter is basically trying to make me look like crap it's trying to make steve harvey look like he a princess or princess and basically they wanted me to take my video goes down and then we will come up with a solution to make steve harvey have a good image so you're willing to tell me as a black woman that i gotta throw my whole legacy up under the bus to make steve harvey look credible are you serious why would i do that but okay no problem then they said that they don't like that I said something about Winton being molested. That's what Mary said. And she didn't use molested. She said she felt like he raped her son and he violated her son. So when you come get me and I release some videos and a judge come at me, the judge is going to have to take a consideration that I'm a mandated reporter and somebody can't just come tell me that and I'm not reported. So you guys are playing a dangerous game when you keep sitting up here threatening me because threats don't work with me. 
what it did it triggered me and it made me just want to put some more videos out here so you can see what i'm capable of and what i will and won't do these are not threats these are promises i have no tolerance for ignorant people who want to think that they're going to run me and tell me what to do i'm not doing that so the person whoever wrote that video in the bottom of my video the comment y'all make sure y'all read that comment i couldn't put it in the box you call my phone again and say anything like that says steve harvey is pissed then tell steve to call me we've been going through this for 10 years i wonder why y'all feel like your raggedy women and men whoever saying it why do you feel like i should sit up here and be okay that steve harvey said i was a co-conspiracy and an extortionist and he said if i get pulled over there's a warrant for my arrest and i'm gonna go to jail for it and knowing that i'm being blackmailed but y'all want me to sit up here and shut up and don't say nothing and go away well where do they do that at that's for a sister who don't know how to fight no battle that's for a sister who don't know something i know what i need to know and i'm going to continue to fight all i said was take me out of divorce and i talked to a lawyer so they could come do what they want to do mary divorced steve harvey in 2005 they put me in a sealed case in 2013 that's illegal they say then when i went to court in 2017 with mary they threatened me and mary and that court date that's the court date that y'all gonna hear tomorrow morning and listen to how everything went down listen to how geneva break down how they were threatening me and trying to make me shut up and do what they wanted me to do because he's steve harvey i'm not doing that so my thing is why is it that the harvey name should over manifest over my name why is it that essie berry gotta shut up and you don't want me talking about anything but y'all still coming to me why isn't it that y'all can't be fair enough people to take me out your divorce because you think i'm mary margie or marcia dude it's eb get the initials right eb i'm not gonna walk away that's why god has given me the victory because he you know all y'all are crooks and all you are liars and all you guys sit up here and try to set up black women and what i don't see steve harvey doing he attacking black people and how ignorant is it of anybody who sat up there and did not um respond or say something or you don't feel some kind of way because he said you bottom feeders so even though y'all took off me and he said i'm a bottom feeder you you went ahead and you put that out so if y'all gonna put the truth out Put all the truth out. I just don't pull it off my page. I don't have anything to lie about. That's why they're coming to me and trying to tell me to shut up. Because you know that I got all the juice and somebody's going to end up in jail. I'm not here to play with nobody, nor am I here to discredit anybody. But you discredited yourself when you continue to come at me and think that as a black woman, I did not have a voice or I don't have a choice. Why do you feel that way? It's sad to know, and it's sad to know that I'm sitting up here, and this person who left that comment in the box down below, this person called me about three or four times like they was about that life. Bring your butt on here now and get on this mic and call call that same number that you blew my phone up this morning calling because you guys got to realize I'm going to answer my phone. I was burnt out last night and I was very tired. But if someone called me and there are some more mixed calls, I'm going to call those people too, just to let them know this is Essie Berry and I have no problem with you. But what I can't do is be your friend right now or anybody friend because I don't know if Steve Harvey's trying to send somebody to me to befriend me so they can find out some details, whatever they think they're going to find out. You ain't got to worry about finding out no details because I'm going to put it out here on the internet. As long as I don't put out no sealed documents, that's what y'all said, right? I can say what I want to because it's freedom of speech. All these other bloggers saying alleged. I ain't saying alleged nothing. I'm saying 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt. Everything that I put on my page, I can show it through and through. And everybody knows what I'm talking about. So please forgive me if you guys are upset that i'm sitting up here as a warrior speaking my truth and you trying to disrespect me as a woman because you want me to protect steve harvey and i can't tell my truth um and i've seen uh, any men that are joining us i really 
I, I'm loving that the men are joining us. I know my sisters are for me, but as brothers, this man is trying to literally try to come at me in broad daylight, stalking me still on the internet, and y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. This brother said, I find it strange that people feel a certain entitlement to celebrities, and they do. False idols remove the voice of every one person, which is beyond ridiculous. Harris County, wrong for what they did. Point blank. And this was Collins County, C-O-L-L-I-N-S. And they do that a lot to um, people for whatever reason. Also, when you hear that video tomorrow that Geneva is getting ready to release, well, I released it, but Geneva Voice is on it. They're talking about Pilar Sanders, too, Deion Sanders' wife. We're going to talk about her, too. She went up under the same judge, and they tried to put a gag order on Pilar. So why did you try to put a gag on on Pilar? So y'all just sit up here trying to gag black women and a black woman that looked like a crackhead that is a judge tried to do it. And this judge got offended because I said she looked like a crackhead. I said what I said the way I said it. I meant what I said the way I said it. If you don't want to look like a crackhead, go take that picture offline because it's on the internet making you look like a crackhead, period. And she's a black woman. So people are sitting up here trying to come at me and say things about me, and I'm not going to continue to let it happen. There are too many people that is watching what is going on now, and I cannot turn back now. The person said, I need to shut up, go away, mind my own business. I'm saying that Steve tried to molest Mary, oldest son. I did not say anything. You gagged Mary. I taped Mary, and Mary said that for herself. That's why you tried to gag Mary. Look, go get Mary. Go put a lawsuit on me. I don't care because if you come for me, you will go get Mary oldest son, the one you tried to molest in the garage. If you gag a person, they can't tell the truth. If you gag a person, they can't tell the crook you are. But let me give you a scenario of the crimes that you have committed. Steve Harvey, roll call, check it out. Check, check it out. Margie, Ricky Anderson, Bobby Edmond, Angela Tucker, um, as far as crimes and the seven lawyers that was on Mary Kay's, I, I know one name is Paget. I know one name is Freeman and y'all gonna maybe put all them white boys up here on this mic, just like I put you up here. Seven lawyers for a divorce case. You know that is crooked and you know they're in trouble. But let me say this. Stop saying I'm trying to take up for Barry. I'm taking up for myself. Tell me why I am in an adv a divorce case that I had no business being in. Tell me why you think that I should shut up because you mad that I'm telling the truth about um, Steve Harvey. Tell me why you feel like I should mind my own business because you don't like what I say. Oh, okay. Well, I don't like that this nigga accused me of being a co-conspiracy and extortionist and y'all let it ride. I don't like that he painted Mary as a, a mad, angry black woman. But I ain't going to lie, y'all. She was mad, she black, and she's angry. And she's a beautiful black woman. But she had a right to be angry because of how these people have done. The five people that I called, Margie Harvey, Steve Harvey, Bobby Edmond, an attorney at law, Ricky Anderson, entertainment attorney at law, um, Judge Andrew Tucker. Let me tell you what was committed in Mary's divorce case, where she hadn't really seen the actual papers, as y'all say. Collusion, conspiracy, extortion, fraud, embezzlement, realty fraud, identity theft, and should I go on? It's never what I say, it's what I can prove. I can prove those eight charges. But again, at the top of this video, there is a, um, a link. Pull up Steve Harvey, divorce con job. Y'all put that out there. Y'all want to be bloggers, but you don't want to tell the truth. Y'all want to tip around the truth. Stop tipping around the truth and do what you got to do. And if you go tip around the truth, do not come take my content and be scared to say something about it. Do not come and take my content and you don't know how to pronounce my name. How disrespectful is that? I'm just saying, 
Thank you, sir. You, sir, maybe you should let them know. Maybe we should write on into the radio station since they still trying to shut me up. And this is the thing. I never asked Steve Harvey for no money. I never asked him for anything. What I asked for is an apology to say, Steve, I was not a co-conspiracy and an extortionist. But instead, Steve Harvey wanted to walk around like he's some kind of uprighteous person and he wants to come and try to disrespect me. You better know who you're dealing with when you're dealing with them. I'm a God. If it means that I got to go behind boss and put all y'all down, then let's do that. If you think that I'm going to go to jail and you put me in jail and then y'all ain't going to go to hell, you're, you're absolutely as wrong about that. I'm just saying I'm not going to go to jail and you don't think you're going to go to too. Just like Cheryl Strawberry. Cheryl Strawberry, I know for a fact that you were affiliated with Steve Harvey and stalking me. Because C-Dub showed last night where you got this little mic and it can make you distort your voice. So people like, this ain't Steve Harvey. Then why Steve ain't sued me? Y'all, are y'all intelligent or you just own the blog to be talking stuff and, and following people's stories and people just lying and you, you just gonna follow with the story? If you got common enough sense and everything I said, where's the court documents? Where's the lawsuits? Why ain't nobody sued me yet? That's what I need to know. It ain't but a couple of real men, Miss Sonia, that's standing up right now. C-Dub is one of them. Right Cross is one of them. Um, I see Measure Man. Thank you, Measure Man, for holding me down. Mr. Denson, I thank him. Mama Denson, I love everybody. But we talk about men right now. There's a lot of men that seen Steve Harvey stalking me. I even put the link on their page, but you ain't saying nothing about it. But you think it's okay. I have to let you know, too, from Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, Washington, D.C., Missouri, Alabama, Chicago, Detroit, um, who else? Georgia, them states holding me down. Don't play around with me because I'm going to be a force to be reckoned with. And if you don't think that I will get people, even if you take my email and email me the letter and I send all those letters to the radio station, you better quit threatening me and stop, stop underestimating me as your opponent. I may talk fast. I may see the little country, but I don't whooped all y'all. And that's why you still coming. If you mad about the videos that I'm putting, putting out. I'm mad that you up here let Steve Harvey blackmail me. I My thing is, I am so confused at how they feel like I should shut up and stop talking, and they blackmailing me. They say, Essie Berry, there's a warrant for your arrest. Go turn yourself over in Texas, and then I'll give you a reality show. I am the reality show. I don't want to be in a place where you're going to make me change. I don't have to be in Hollywood. I am Hollywood. And when I say that, I say that literally because anything I can do in Hollywood, I can do it on my own platform. I'm just not going to have to worry about sleeping with goats and animals and people telling lies and stuff. I'm not going to do that. It's sad to know when you get out on the internet that you have to tell your whole truth and then people are all in your business, in your circle, and in your life, and they want to place judgment. For the women who sit up and say, Essie, just leave it alone. Essie, don't say nothing. Would you please go somewhere and go take a nap? If you're old, and ain't no older women saying that. It's only some of these young chicks or whoever else. Don't tell me what to do. If you don't like my mouth, go on Scooby-Doo page. Go on Batman page. Go on Robin page. Don't come to my page. If you don't like my grammar or you don't understand what I'm saying, then go to someone's page that you're understanding what I'm saying. To know that I've been on this mic for 10 years and Steve Harvey hadn't made it right, I think I'm going to help him make it right because in a minute, I'm going to go behind the scenes. I'm going to contact Chronicles. I'm going to contact Cheryl's World. I'm going to contact Storm. I'm going to contact C. Uh, I'm going to contact Essie Berry. I'm going to contact C Secret Lives. I'm going to contact Jackie's bloggers. And then I'm going to get every one of these bloggers to get their, their subscribers to write in and tell them that we want Steve Harvey off the air because he's condoning pedophilia. He's condoning child abuse. He's Why would why would he not condone it, y'all? Look how he beat Winton. He beat Winton like a Hebrew slave, and he think because he got away with it that he's untouchable. 
you're not going to sit up here and play on my mental capacity because you did something and you don't want nobody to know. I'm not with that person. I got on this mic because I want to see the same person that kept blowing. And when I say this person blew my phone up, they were pissed. They blew my phone up. And then when I called them three times this morning, they hung up in my face. You ain't about that life. You better know what life I'm about when you come for me. And I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I play religious music in the beginning because I love gospel. When you guys see, don't see me, I'm up here playing my music, just praising to God. But if I came on here and I got in, indignant, I don't care because of the simple fact, you know, triggered me. So I feel some kind of way. I'm going to try to stay in character how I am right now. But if I come out of character, that's how I am too. It's just depending on who I'm talking about and what I'm doing. So I don't have to sit up here and be scared because I'm saying what Mary said because you gagged her. Maybe if you hadn't gagged Mary, she would have told that you tried to molest her son. Maybe you hadn't gagged Mary, maybe she would have told that you had your dingling walking around in front of Winter Face. Maybe if you hadn't tried to gag Mary, she could have told about her houses and how Ricky Smiley is a bold-faced liar. And go get Ricky, because I got a bone to pick with him anyway. And all your people over there on whatever page y'all on, and I, now I'm being real, the only one I like over there is Brat. Because Brat seemed realer than anybody over there. So, Brat, don't sit up here and try to take up for Ricky because I need Ricky by himself. He needs cheerleaders, too. Ricky is a bold-faced liar. He's two-faced. He rolled on Steve Harvey coattail. Mary said that Rick, Steve Harvey didn't even like Ricky. She helped him get a chance. Y'all didn't know that. There's a lot of stuff that Mary told me that I was nice enough not to put out here. But since y'all feel like I'm minding my, Mary business, you saying that Mary's not my friend. Maybe Mary was never my friend. Thank you so much, baby. Maybe Mary was never my friend. But at the end of the day, I had a job to do. At the end of the day, I'm still being blackmailed by Steve Harvey, too. And Margie was all the way in that. And then they keep trying to put Margie in it. You saying that I'm jealous of Margie. So let me figure out where I'm jealous of Margie at. Am I jealous of Margie because Margie sleep with other women husbands? Or am I jealous of Margie because she left her husband in jail, which is her baby daddy, and pretty much told him to go to hell and just turn her back on him? Or am I jealous of Margie because Margie got a daughter and her daughter ain't speaking to her because she knows she's sloppy. And Mr. Jimmy said a lot of stuff was going on behind closed doors and that Margie need to be ashamed of herself. Don't make me finish the conversation with Mr. Jimmy because that ain't my family business. So I'm going to leave that right there. Or why am I jealous of Margie? You want me to be jealous of Margie. You guys are coming at me. Maybe it could be the fact that Margie is jealous of me. Maybe it be the fact that all you are jealous of me because you ain't got the guts or the courage or the mouth or the stability or the heart that I have. This could have been over a long time ago if Steve Harvey, as a man, had said, you know what, Essie, right, my, my, he could have threw his attorney up on the bus. I don't care. Essie, right, um, Bobby at McCain to me, she wrote that. She was dead wrong. I should not have let Bobby wrote that about Essie Berry. But you want me to be a walking around looking like a criminal while y'all sitting up here eating steak and bonbons and weenies. Get the hell up out of here. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to do that. I decided not to have my bodyguard on the day. We're going to go next week about 2 o'clock on a Saturday. It's for a reason. Because the other night when we were on live, um, he popped off on a channel called Spook Media TV. I said Spook Media TV, 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt, is Steve Harvey. As soon as that video went off that night, two nights ago, he made a video the next night trying to call me all out my name and call me bitches and all this. Who's going to be mad enough to get on the mic, make it make sense, y'all, to cuss me out like that, and it's not Steve Harvey? Who's going to be that person to worry about Steve Harvey's divorce, and it's not Steve Harvey? Who's going to be that person to want to put me in jail to shut me up if you ain't committed a crime? The more you guys come at me, the worse it makes you look. The worse it makes you look like you're scary. Um, 
me when I was talking to Storm the other day and explaining him that I'm thinking about if Steve Harvey keep coming at me and that warrant in Texas. So hypothetically, the warrant on me in Texas, I drive somewhere, they pull me over, I get a nasty cop. They could put me in jail for a fifteen hundred dollar warrant. I'm not gonna pay that warrant. I want to go to court and I want to tell all the stuff that Mary told me. But instead, because I know I can't get a good trial, and instead, because I saw Steve Harvey pay a judge to take a restraining order off of him, he was very hot, y'all. Steve Harvey was belligerently mad when I got that restraining order on him in 2020. I'm going to put it up there so you know that I did beat him for six months. And so then his raggedy lawyers went in there and gave the wrong address so I couldn't be served. And so they could take that restraining order off of Steve Harvey. But the proof of it is you had that restraining order on you. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. But when you come to me, I fight with my best of my ability. I am tired of people dogging out women and especially black women and trying to silence our voice. Don't get on my page if you know black woman and you talk stupid because I'm liable to drag you and make a whole video just about you yourself. Please don't do that because this over here, this is not what you want. Anybody on a video that I've said some about, if you want me, you can get it though. But when you come for me, you better know what you're doing and you better understand that I'm not the one to play for. So since you want to talk about the houses thing and y'all got mad that I put out there about the houses, now y'all know how Steve Harvey act like a woman, think like a man. Steve will lie when the truth will do. He threw his baby mama out on the streets. What do y'all think about that? He sent up and talking about love or relationships and he threw his baby out on the streets. Just like what the gentleman just said, Mr. Man. How you measure man? How you going to sit up and idolize a man who sit up here and disrespect women? Go on Spook Media TV and listen to how this man is talking and being belligerent towards me because I'm sitting up here putting out videos. If y'all want to take the news, if y'all really want to be good bloggers, then expose this nigga and show what he's doing. But y'all want to keep it at a bare minimal because you don't want your page snatched down. Oh, okay. Y'all good bloggers. Oh, okay, y'all 100% being right. Oh, okay, because you want to make money. I don't care about making money on this platform, but I do care about exposing the truth. Now, if Steve Harvey come to me as a man, then it may be different. But because he can't come to me as a true man, and he made a whole site up to go after my bodyguard, to try to stalk me, to try to say stuff about me, then I'm going to show his whole hand. I'm going to show you his female tendencies, and I'm going to show you how he do stuff. Now, everything I say, I know people know I can prove it. So let's stop playing. Um, I have a video and me and Steve was talking um, March 2, 2023. So you know all this stuff about Ernesto we did not know about until now. But they said that Margie left Steve supposedly, right? So March 2023, me and Steve had a conversation I'm all in there telling him to stop making accounts, stop lying. I asked him where Margie was. He said Margie left him. Now, I got that whole conversation. So since y'all want to play these games and you want to trigger me, Steve, you can lie and say it wasn't you, but I can show that it was you. And then he even put an email so I could email him, and he put his real name in it. So now the whole conversation – alluded to the fact that margie wasn't there he wanted to do whatever he wanted to do with me he's trying to find a good person margie cheated on him now this is a march 2023 conversation yeah i'm gonna put it out there because you should have left me alone and you better tell your m-u-t-t-s your mutts to stay over there on their own page don't send no female for me because the average female can't even deal with me less long coming at me some kind of way and thank you measure man for following this i'm um, standing up for me um allowing me to know that you hear what i'm saying please um spread it to the rest of your brothers you got a cute too measure man i just say it with your cute ball self you know what i'm saying but i don't know right now i'm watching um and i have to say that because there's a lot of more people have been hooking me up or looking me up now you know that stalking is something that is real 
But if you really try to make a difference, you're not going to try to keep triggering a person like me because you have issues like this person right here, Spook Media TV. This is Steve Harvey, Spook TV Media. That's Steve Harvey. If I was lying, all those videos that I said where he's threatening me, y'all go on see the page and y'all watch the live we did last night. And you see how this man is coming to me. All he had to do is make it right. I got every piece of ounce to put all of them in jail. But since you're on my page, Steve, there's an indictment for your arrest. I don't know what they arresting you for, my nigga, but your name is on that list for you to be indicted to go to jail. I don't know when they're coming to get you, but Steve Harvey, you are the number 241 on that list. You're going to jail. They got you for some kind of indictment. So me being on the internet ain't going to help you. You is really making it worse because they watching me too. I just got the list sent to me. I'm not sure what you were on, under indictment for, but there's a paper with a long list of people and you are on there for indictment. Thought I'd tell you that if you didn't know. Thank you, Miss T. So on Miss Tate, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And listen, all you sisters that's been calling me, I ain't forgot about you. I'm going to start scheduling you guys so you can come on and tell your truth. I love nothing better than a strong woman, especially a strong black woman who can stand on her own. I don't know how to stop being who I am. Um, all I know is to do what I need to do. So I want to thank you guys for giving me the courage to keep standing. If anything come up, I know y'all are going to be there for me. One lady said, Essie, won't you turn yourself in? I'll pay your bond. I'm not going to turn myself in. I can pay my own bond. Why would I turn myself into Texas and I ain't did none in Texas? I've never been in that state. You don't think it's going to be look quite strange if I get arrested or anything come up against Steve Harvey about me? You're really going to look stupid. Um, thank you for welcoming Spook. He thought I was going to trigger. I'm not going to trigger. All stupid niggas are welcome. It doesn't matter who you are. I'm just saying. And I love that brothers are now reaching out to me. I had a brother reach out to me the other night. He said, I'm the same man that reached out to you five years ago. If they come get you, Essie, within 48, 24 to 48 hours, he said, I can have a load or two loads or three loads of buses of activists, black women and man, and we come and shut Collin County down. Do you see what kind of power that you are giving me? Because you want to come up against God's property. God said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He said, he'll make my enemy my footstool. God said, watch around you, who around you when you down. That's who you want around you when you come up. You can't take something that's already mine because I got the victory. And that is why I am still here. That is why I played that. Um, statement today on the mic when I played that music by Yolanda's Adams. I want to let you know that when you come against me that I'm not the only one watching. There are other people watching now, Steve Harvey. And when I seen Steve Harvey name on there, it said indictment waiting for arrest. I didn't know whether to get happy. I didn't know whether to cry. I'm waiting for the other part of it, but I'm just letting him know. Some people say don't let your right hand know what your left doing. I'm not going to let my right hand know what my left doing, but I am going to put it out here because if I don't put it out here, they would have got me behind closed doors and made me look like a criminal, just like they made Mary look like an angry black woman for all these years. And then what happened? Y'all sit up here and played them games, making Mary look all crazy. And then when I came aboard, everybody was my cheerleader. Then, oh, Miss Essie, we standing for you. We got Mary. Please, y'all. Start doing all your information. Start staying focused on what you should because at the end of the day, I understand that y'all love me and you stand standing for me. But if you stand standing for me, then share this. Tell people. Let people know what I'm saying. Let people have the point to share my video to tell people what's going on. Because at this point, this lady who blew my phone up last night, I'm not sure what she wanted, but I wish she would have the guts to come now. And I'm so glad that I did not wake up out my beauty sleep to hear that mess. Because if I had woke up out my beauty sleep and they're threatening me because I'm talking about Ricky Smiley, that would have been an issue to me. Because you mad that I'm telling or I'm allowing Mary to tell how y'all snatched her houses from her players. You said she wasn't my friend. 
You said that Mary said she was never my friend. You said that Mary said that she was never my friend. So do you think that I'm going to sit up here and spare a conversation that Mary told me to protect Steve Harvey? Mary done tried to protect this man. All he did is done pissed on her and took her to the promised land pretty much, making her have meltdowns and breakdowns. And then you think I'm going to be the same way what Mary is. I'm not like that. And I'm not saying Mary's a coward, but she don't have the same fight I do. I'm not going to let nobody do something to me and I'm not going to put it out there. That's how they was able to do it by keeping everything behind closed doors. It is when you put stuff out there and you let a person know where you're coming from to be able to voice your opinion. They wanted me to put Mary in a mental ward in 2017 because I was a POA. Do you hear what I'm saying? Steve Harvey wanted me to sign a black woman up under the mental war to say that she was a liar to say that she wasn't telling the truth to say that she wasn't a, a good person i'm not going to be that and see that right there do you remember the smoking gun pull that smoking gun it's already up it already i printed it so even if they go pull the smoking gun off of a platform and matter of fact i'm gonna put it in a um slideshow so y'all can see it they can go pull the smoking gun. I already printed it out. You talking about a 10-year investigation. If you ain't no civil rights activist and you don't know the law, please don't tell me what to do. I had an older woman call me the other day. She said, you better stand against this man. She said, you better not let him violate you. She said, I'm a civil rights activist of 80 years old, and I used to stand for the truth. She said, I marched where Martin Luther King was marching. She said, I went to jail too. And she said, the spirit that carries within you, she said, you are born again, civil rights activist, and I want to deal with you, an 80-year-old woman. All these older women are coming for me and saying, sister, you are what we used to be back in the day and now we've confused because we're letting men pave the way and we don't have no voice for ourselves she said she's gonna come on you guys i invited her on my platform to tell who and what she is and i want to know why she wanted to come to me she said because you are everything that a civil rights activist is supposed to be I take that as an honor from an 80 some year old woman who done stood by Martin Luther King, watched people piss on us and try to take our voices. And then you got a black man who's trying to come at me. You got a black man. All right, Columbus, Georgia in the house. Get my people, girl. Kimberly, go get my people from Georgia. They know me. Come on, let's stand. And you're going to come for me. I'm not going to let you come for me. So what I decided to do right now, and thank you guys for leaving all these. I said it was something to you, auto your voice. Oh, okay. Um, all these people that's coming for me now or trying to be there for me, I want to let you know that I hear your voice. I hear what you're saying. And if I don't stand for something now, I will fall for something later. Um, I'm going to go back and read some of the comments. I just want to put that out there because I'm going to let y'all ask comments too. But let me go and put this out here too and get off the Harvey's for a minute. As you know, I'm working with the Norwoods, which is C-Dub and Miss Lynetta Kane. They're both beautiful and good people. But I just got an issue, y'all, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it. And if the girl is on the mic, I don't really care, but I don't like her. So don't keep coming trying to befriend me because I feel like you are fraudulent anyway. I'm going to call her Lady P, and it wasn't Portia. So if you go back and look at the live, well, fuck it, I'm going to call her name Patrice. That's her name, Patrice. There's a girl named Patrice that I was introduced through through Miss Kane. The Patrice seemed like, I don't know, I don't know if she's sweet on C-Dub, she's feeling some kind of way. I don't really know. But what I do know is that she's been trying to befriend me. So about a month and a half ago, she came to me, Behind Miss Lynetta and C Dub back. And she said, Essie Berry, they getting ready to have a Soul Train Music Award show. Um, I got a guy who can get you in. They want to do a, a hip hop thing to honor your husband. Dude said, I just need $250 to advertise it, but I got you. I'm going to bring you on this platform. He said that I know Willie Norwood and Sonya Norwood. He said, I sing with both of them, and we're about a choir. And I sing with them. So I said, okay. So he said he sing with him. He know him. If I want to talk to him, 
Why Wooly as a grown ass man can't come and stand up for C Dub and what he has said? Then the girl got on a live last night and say, Oh, I was hooking him up with TMZ. I did this. Don't nobody care what you did, Patrice. You didn't do it then. You left C Dub on the side of the road like a slow moving dog. If you were really cool with C Dub, like you portraying to be, all of his jumping on his lives and stuff, then you wouldn't have left him 10 years ago. You would have still been fighting just like I'm fighting right now for who I am. If you want to say that you had seat up back. I don't like nothing about you, Patrice, because you look shady. You sound shady. You seem a little shysty. And really, you done got on my nerve. Don't send me nothing else and no Instagram. Because what she didn't do when they offered me this deal, they didn't tell Lynetta about it and they didn't tell C Dub about it. They didn't say nothing at all. Give me one minute, ma'am, who's calling. I'm gonna I'm pick you back up. Give me 10 minutes because I want to finish this up. So then she on the mic last night, and then I had to ask her, what is all this got to do with us being stalked right now? So then all of a sudden she wanted to come up with this lie because I felt like it was a lie that she said that Noah was, was stalking her. Well, you never said that in any other conversation. Now you want to make yourself relevant. If you go on Instagram, if you open your mouth, Patrice, I'm going to shut you down so hard that I'm going to make you look crazy. If you know like I know, go take your shady self somewhere and go sit down because ain't nobody thinking about you. Point blank pure and simple let me see what this lady wants because she keep calling my phone i told her to wait a minute yes ma'am uh, miss vera i just wanted to say that um the smooth media person is in this live right now and they just threatened you they said where is mlk now and we all know that mlk is deceased and um they just said it in this live so anyone who knows how to back search and find ip addresses um if they even if they need to YouTube it, we all need to research to find this IP address for some media. Okay. Thank you for telling me that. I saw him in the, the chat. So maybe he knows that there's a um indictment for his arrest. I told him that too. So maybe he's gonna learn something on my chat. All bummed out cats are welcome. Bald headed liars and all. Thank you, beautiful. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right, Detroit in the house, Louisiana in the house, Columbus, Georgia in the house, represent Essie Berry. So I didn't want to come up on this girl, Patrice, like this, but I'm trying to see what's your motive. Where, where you at in all this, Patrice? Because 10 years ago when you were on C-Dub and Team, and then when C-Dub went to a dark place and he didn't have nobody to fight for him, why you didn't keep fighting for him then? So what you sent a letter to TMZ? How did that help c -Dub? So what you set up and wrote a few articles? How did that help c -Dub? Soon as it was over with and c -Dub didn't have a voice, you tucked your tail and you ran like you didn't even have a choice. Patrice, you had the choice to stand for c -Dub. You had a choice to stand for his mother. And now you want to call her mama. You got a, a old man over there that you dealing with. Go to that old man and go call his mama mama. So at the end of the day, and if you do, I don't want to meet no crooked people. I don't want to meet nobody who's trying to make me make a deal. I didn't like that she tried to get me to be introduced to a guy so I can go on the TV awards to get an award for Fred Berry. Hell, I'll buy him an award, engrave it, and present it myself. It's just something about her that seems shysty. And I felt like if I were to call her, she's going to get belligerent on the phone. So I'm telling you from what I know, I don't care if you're friends with Miss Lynetta. I don't care if you're friends with C-Dub. I don't care who you friends with. Essie Berry don't want to be friends with you because I feel like you're shady. I feel like you're shysty. I feel like you have something that you are trying to get out of me. I feel like when C-Dub went on top or whatever's going on right now, I feel like you were there. So now that he's where he is, now you're trying to get in there. If you ain't in there in the beginning, I'm not going to deal with you now. Let me tell you something. And then... This shysty chick, she wanted to try to get C-Dub on other platforms. I don't care what platform C-Dub go on, but if you was going to try to get C-Dub on platforms, you should have tried to get C-Dub on platforms way before now. And if you want to call in, call in so I could check you on this mic right now because I could have checked you off the mic.
right but since you got on the internet last night trying to make everybody seem like you were some kind of rebel for CETA, I just want to make sure that you get your 10 minutes of fame as you wanted to do. None of this is about fame. None of this is about destroying anybody. None of this is about disrespecting anybody. But y'all celebrities got stuff twisted. And y'all thought, because I was married to Fred Berry from the 1970 sitcom What's Happening, and I'm a civil rights activist, you thought what? Did you think that I was going to roll like y'all Hollywood people roll? Or did you think that I was going to just keep my mouth shut and not say nothing? I don't know what you think or what you should expect to think. But really, I don't want you as a friend. I don't want you communicating with me. I don't want you calling me no more. I'm going to get the Norwoods to come to me my way. And if they don't, then I'll just expose them more in the media. That's coming too. It ain't Rand, Brandy or Ray J's fault. It is Willie Norwood's fault. It ain't even Sonya's fault that Willie couldn't wear the britches in his circle. It ain't no bad thing because you was acting like a woman instead of being like a man and pulling your damn pants up and taking care of your two responsibilities. And I'm getting ready to do an interview with C-Dub and I'm getting ready to do an interview with Willie Norwood's oldest daughter. I want y'all to show her love when she come over here. You talking about a woman that's 53 years old, ain't never had her daddy in her life and she ain't never said one ill word about Willie and she still ain't saying negative nothing negative about Willie right now but as a person and this case came to me I want to make sure that I can do everything for them to voice their opinion or they to voice their voice about how they feel about Willie Norwood so if you over here trying to ride a choo-choo train I don't need that caboose you got heavy dead weight take that stuff somewhere else don't come over here doing that because at the last night, I just felt like she was trying to shine and we talking about being stalked and she trying to talk about she sent a paper to TMZ and then what happened when you sent the paper to TMZ? Because I ain't heard nothing. Come on now. Um, I'm going to go back. Okay, Spook. Okay, Steve, you feeling some kind of way? I'm going to make sure I put out that message when you told me that Margie left you. So I'm going to let you know. And I'll put out that message where you said she ruined your life and you hate that you uh, adopted her kids. You said that I didn't. Come on. All right, Northern California, September Vir uh, Virgo, 100% in the house. Um, Dion, woo woo. See, y'all heard what he just said. One of his nephews went, his nephew went, and he, he had to find his nephew, and something happened in Hollywood. See, they sit up there doing all this predatorial stuff, and they think everybody's supposed to join into the bandwagon. I don't know how to join into the bandwagon. All I know is what I know. Louisiana in the house. Now look at my stalker again. What I need to be careful of, Steve. Oh, be careful. Don't put those messages out. Well, Steve, tell you what. I'm going to be nice to you today. If you don't want me to put those messages out, say, no, Essie, don't put the messages out between me and you when you were talking about Margie. Can you make sure that I need to know what I'm being careful for? Just let me know. Let me see what Ms. Copeland said. If you weren't telling the truth, they wouldn't be pressing you. Steve tried to degrade black bloggers who are a majority of women, yet his biggest fans are women. Child... Whatever y'all women was and y'all his biggest fans. Okay, I'm not his fan. Come on. All right, Jamal Peters. That, that's a good brother. He exposed a lot of stuff. Is Mary still? No, baby. Mary been out of the mental work for a long time. She just had a lot of mental breakdowns because how disrespectful Steve was. It's bad when a, a man, I mean a woman, love a man from the bottom of her soul and then she get betrayed or get betrayed for silver and gold because that's what he did he didn't have to throw her out and all they got to do is still make it right but tomorrow make sure y'all listen to the video that's going to be released when y'all hear the video geneva closet is breaking down things that i went through some of it i didn't even remember when i went to court with mary so i want y'all to know the struggle i went through when i was going through these situations with mary this is not about protecting Mary. 
they sent up here blackmailing me, telling me there's a warrant for my arrest, and I keep talking, you gonna arrest me. Okay. They say if I keep talking, you gonna sue me. Please do. They say if they keep resting, what you if I keep um talking, they gonna what they gonna do to me. Please do. Spook said I need to be careful, aka Steve Harvey. Careful about what? You don't want me to put the messages out there that me and you talk and the emails. Steve, I'm going to do that because you don't know how to keep your mouth shut and women ain't put you in check enough yet. So I feel like I should do you the honor of letting Margie feel and see how you really talking because you don't want to lose your legacy. He wanted me to be on his team to tell me that Margie is leaving him or done left him. So then I will look differently at him. I'm not going to look differently at no crook. You're a crook. You know you're a crook. And no, again, Mary's not in the mental ward. Smooth TV, how do you ignore the children you weren't there for? Steve, they want to know, how do you sit up here and talk about children? And you gave lawyer Rolls Royce, but your three children, you didn't do your four children. Because the first wife got three, twins and a son, and Mary had a son. So he'll do right by somebody who ain't got none of his kids and he ain't got to pay no child support to. But he ain't going to do right to a woman that done bear his child and they all look like you. For player, all the children look like you. You can't deny that. Um, Steve Harvey is infatuated with me. So Steve, tell your people to stop calling me and tell them to stop threatening me. Now I ask you a question. Just say yes or no on the next text, Steve. Would you like me to put out all the messages when you said Margie ruined your life? Spook, a.k.a. Steve. Would you like me to put out all the messages where you said that you wish that you had a never um, adopted Margie children and you said that was a mistake? How about I put those messages out there? Would you like for me to do that? If so, fine. Okay. Um, you guys, I just had to come on here and say that we need to go for a black rock who owns the portfolio. Okay. Well, if that's whoever owns the media outlet, Mr. Measure, I'm with that. Mr. Measure, man. Um, born again, version 53. Please put that in the box. Born again, version 53. And then email me if y'all know a way, because we do need to take Steve Harvey off the radio because he keep coming at me and he don't know the power that he's given me. If we contact all the bloggers and I did my research for the bloggers that I'm going to contact, all of us together got over 1 million subscribers. And I do feel like those 1 million subscribers will use those letters to do what I need them to do. Do not underestimate your opponent. And that's what you did. Spook say he triggered. Okay, you triggered. Because I know you don't think I'm triggered. I just want to get on here and say what I said because you sent someone to threaten me. And I'm not going to go through that with you, Steve Harvey. So, again, you don't want me to put out the, the messages because I got my camera in here, you guys. So, for the next two days, I probably won't be on the mic. But I am going to interview Storm Moreau, I think, tomorrow or Monday. The interview will be everything about Storm Moreau that you don't know. I'm going to put him in a hot seat. I did not rehearse with Storm, so he don't even know the questions that I'm going to ask him tomorrow. I will share the link when I find out. But be looking, because if I'm not mistaken, Storm said 4 o'clock tomorrow, um, my time, and it'll be 6 years. But y'all will see the link. Just make sure you check for it, because it should be a good interview. And she's still getting all the reels about Steve. I mean, I don't have no choice because he keep threatening me. What do he want me to do? He won't come and um, apologize. He just keep threatening me like that's going to help. Whitney is crazy because I wouldn't fool with Steve B. Listen, the baby ain't crazy. He was scared. When you are a young person and you are brutalized by someone as a victim, then that victim has prone you to be into fear. So it's not that Wick is crazy. Where were y'all when he was being beaten and nobody would help him? Where was y'all knowing that he was in Atlanta and he got his case got closed in Texas and they were still beating him? Why did that even have to happen that he continued to have to beat Winton and go after Winton? Was Margie being Winton too? Was was all that happening? We don't 100% know what happened. You could tell him Winton face he's broken and we could tell that he wasn't with his mother. Why does Steve Harvey feel like he had to take 
that baby away from his mother. And y'all sitting up here following behind this nigga. And he's sitting up here taking kids from their mamas and throwing them out houses and calling women bitches, sluts, and hoes. And y'all sitting up here riding with Steve Harvey. Ridiculous. And another thing, when I put out videos and you don't see me talking and I just say, y'all, click the link at the bottom, then or I put it in the video, start clicking those links at the bottom to see what's on there. There are videos of this man threatening me, blowing my house up, stalking me, coming at me. If it's not Steve Harvey, why is they letting Spook Channel 7, as C-Dub said last night, why are they letting Spook Channel 7 do, I mean, Spook Media TV do all this? I say Spook Channel 7 because when I was going through things with him and I entered into the Save at Home program, that's the channel it was, Spook Channel 7. But then he changed it to Spook TV Media, whatever. Someone asked where Mary is right now. Mary is in Texas and she's doing okay. But I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't even want to be Mary friend right now or any kind of way. If something was to come up, um, they, every time something goes on, they threaten Mary. Mary don't say nothing to Essie. Mary don't call Essie. Mary don't write Essie. Mary don't say nothing to Essie. Just be quiet, Mary. We'll slide you a, two, a couple more, a few dollars here and there. And I'm not stupid. I know Mary got paid a little change. That's why she's quiet. And I ain't mad at her because you got to watch somebody else live your life. And you got to sit up and be quiet because they sit up here dictating your life for you. Mary, I feel like deserves a lot more, but I can't get Mary what she want right now. I'm fighting for what is right. And I'm not just fighting for my voice. I'm fighting for every woman that Steve Harvey has disrespected. Point blank, period, simple. I said, she said, I wonder how I feel to be like, to be a selfish narcissist. We should ask Steve Harvey that. Hey, Steve, Spook, AK, what did, what did it feel like to be a selfish narcissist? Thank y'all so much. I don't know what these little super stickers and things mean, but I thank you guys for donating. I thank you for looking out. Um, I'm going to put some out later on, too, because um, I don't know if you guys know, I work with a lot of foster kids. By working with the foster kids, I... Um, I, I like be their protector or or their sponsor. So say for instance, I'm dealing with a home and I'm dealing with a few of the girls, then I sponsor them if they do good, if they do what the people say do. So when you guys donate or whatever, I'll take that and buy them some shoes or the clothes or whoever the next girl is. Um, I've been able to bless several little girls. One little girl needed a tablet and she needed some shoes as a perfume and things like that. I was able to do that. One girl didn't have nothing but some clogs. I got her five pair of shoes. One lady didn't have but one pair of jeans. I was able to get her three pair of jeans. So I make my time valuable. So I want to let you know when you do donate, that just make it better for me to help another little baby or another foster kid. And I don't do things for gratitude or money. I do them because God wants me to do that to help people. If there's any elderly people that's out here who should need something such as walker, canes, beds, anything that needs to suffice an elderly person, I have organizations that I work with also that we can deal with if you need something for an elderly person. So I just want to put that out there and I'll be plugging that in so you will know. So you can hit me up on the website. So if you need something, if I can help you, I will. If you have a case that is going on, and I ain't going to lie, I hope people don't think I'm trying to be rude or disrespectful. I have over a thousand emails right now from women all over the world. I hate that it's not a thousand of me that I can't help you. So if you work with me, I'll work with you. I don't like reading a lot of stuff. So I get someone else to read it. And then I can tell you the key points. If you have a case or not, how to win your case. I'll work with you if you need me to, because I'm not going to turn my back on the average sister. I'm not going to turn my back on anybody, but I have to make sure that you're not two faces shady or doing some slick stuff. Um, Gwen say, don't play with the Miss Essie. She ain't no joke. If anybody seen me in 2017, 2018, 2019, before Steve Harvey spooked media TV, and I got proof of that, he had my page flag and took down. So why he say Tim Walton now, we're on a page and you're going to hear me talking and you'll hear Spook. And Spook say he Tim Walton. 
he made up Tim Walton because the last page I had up, he turned around and snatched it down or had people to flag it to take it down. And Spook Media TV did that. If it wasn't nothing personal to Spook TV Media, why we have my page flagged down? Because he's Steve Harvey and he don't want me to tell the truth. And really, I don't really think Steve is a really bad man. I think he's disrespectful as hell. He was supposed to take anger management. I really think he should have took anger, anger, anger management for sure. I think he should have did that beyond a shadow of a doubt. I think he should have handled Mary differently. And I think he should have came to me more so as a man than a man that's acting like a woman and thinking like a sissy because your women tendencies is coming out. And I'm not here to play those kind of games with you. Steve is mad because he can't do anything to you because you're telling the truth. I just want him to suit me. Please sue me if I'm lying so we can do that. So come on now. And he also has another attorney that's on a site called The Truth. T-H-E-E. -E. You hear me, uh, Mac Meter, Mr. Meter? T. It's called T-H-E-E-T-R-U-F-F-F, -E -F -F -F, number five. That is Ricky Anderson. That is an entertainment lawyer. That is who helped Steve committed all the crimes. That is the man who was married and Steve Harvey attorney in the divorce. He could be disbarred for that. Y'all hold on for a minute. But when I ask y'all to start writing letters and putting things out there, I need to make sure that you all do that. But when I get ready to go out to Steve Harvey radio show and I start right into Hulu, I'm going to make sure that I send them the evidence to go with it. See, if you know, like I know, you need to make everything right because until you do right by me, everything you think about is going to fail. He had Ricky Anderson threatening me. He had Bobby Edmund threatening me. He had Margie Harvey threatening me. He had Tommy threatening me. So Tommy, you were threatening me. Now you're sick. God bless you. I hate you sick, but you got cancer in your throat. So I guess that means you can't um, stalk any more women now, huh? Shirley Strawberry. You tried to help Steve stalk me, too, and you thought it was okay. And you was trying to help put me in jail because I told the truth about Mary. So now your man is in jail, the same place where you was trying to get me to go. God made it that your man up in there. Steve Harvey, he said, I've been trying to make comments about my bodyguard. Tell me he fat, he did see that. It seemed like you jealous of my bodyguard. Do you want to be my bodyguard and guard my body? Is that why you're mad? I'm just asking. Um, and he said a lot of belligerent things about my bodyguard, but why? What's the reason? What are you mad for? Because he want to be my bodyguard, but he trying to make it like my bodyguard ain't in good shape. And Cheryl Strawberries just said, this nigga ain't got enough breath to run upstairs. I even walk up there because he's giving out of breath. And that y'all treat them like slaves. So now you don't got money, Steve Harvey. You don't know how to treat people. Well, anybody with the name Essie from here on out, or anybody named Star with E, Eddie, Edward, Essie, Elizabeth, Echuan, Ashan, whatever, you will know how to speak when you're spoken to, and you'll respect women when it comes down to it. Nigga, that, see there? Now, Spook, see, if it ain't Ricky, now, y'all, listen, let me tell you how I know it's Ricky. Since this dumbass nigga gonna come on my platform, excuse me, Lord, but I meant what I said. Ricky, go pull Ricky Page, T-H-E-E-T-R-U-F-F-F-5, -F -F and pull it. He got Steve Harvey face on there. He got Ricky Anderson. Ricky Anderson is a nobody. He's just a nigga who sat there and divorced uh, Mary, helped Steve divorce Mary. Go look at this, the con job. Steve Harvey divorced con job. So if it ain't Ricky Spook, then tell me who it is. It's Ricky. But ain't you stupid to go over there and put your face and you're stalking me. I'm an activist with a 100% winning rate. I don't interview people. I interrogate people. And I find out. And the little things that y'all miss are the big things that I'll get. I'll go back and find the littlest thing. And that's how you know I know what I know. And I can prove it. Winton is not crazy. Stop calling him. I agree. Winton has been abused. Winton is a victim of Steve Harvey's. Winton has been brutalized since the time Steve Harvey snatched Mary. I mean, since Steve Harvey snatched Winton from Mary. 
If you go back and look at a video I just put up, Mary explained how Steve, all these years, y'all thought Mary put her baby on a plane. What mother you know, black women, that's going to put their baby on a plane by themselves? But Ricky Smiley, with his lying self, he said that Mary did it because Steve said to tell him, Ricky, say this. Ricky, say that. Ricky's a puppet who want money, who ain't really got a pot to piss in or winner to throw it out of, barely finna make it, thinking he funny. And I don't think nothing about Ricky Smiley is funny. But what I do know, birds of a feather flock together. And please go tell Ricky I roasted him on here too. Because if I hear my name, I'm going to roast Ricky like he stole something. And I got some more footage that Mary told me about Ricky too. Y'all keep playing them games. I'm going to put out what I want to put out because you're going to remember my name. You tried to violate me, and all I'm trying to do is set myself free. I said, take me out of your divorce case, and I probably would go somewhere and sit down. But you got me in your divorce case. You sit up here threatening me, telling me to shut up. You got a crackhead black lawyer, who, I mean judge, who's coming at me. You got two crackhead wannabe lawyers. One look like a man, and one look like a reject Muslim, and his bow ties for to choke him out. And you got these people coming for me. Stop it. I don't know if Ricky gay, but he got gay tendencies. I don't know if Steve gay, but he got down low tendencies. I'm just saying my First Amendment right, my freedom of speech, and I can say what I want to say. I say I feel like they may have those tendencies. It's not what you say, y'all. It's how you say it. Y'all, I just say what I say. I'm not filtered. And that's the other thing, y'all. I'm unfiltered. I don't know if I'm going to praise God tomorrow and cuss you out the next day. But as long as I know Jesus, forgive me, I don't really worry about what y'all say. As for, as for, it's about morals, it's about principles, it's about honor, it's about respecting. And what I do know now is I got the power to take Steve Harvey off his radio show. And I have the power to take him off Hulu. But if he going to keep doing this, I'm going to write Hulu anyway. And I'm going to write the radio stations. And I'm going to let y'all know when, because I'm going to come up here and put the address up here. And then I'm going to want bloggers and whoever else, if you scared of Steve Harvey, this would be the time now to take him off the air because he really is doing bad. And I don't wish that on a brother, but I don't like that you keep threatening me. And y'all see how he was all over on my platform. And you see how he said trigger. A trigger is when you don't went through something emotionally and you're a victim. And so see if I see a bald headed man or a bald headed man with a mustache, you know what I'm saying? I may trigger, but then I may not. I just seen that guy meters up here and he was a cute little bald headed man. You know what I'm saying? Nice looking brother. So, but when you think about certain things and you've been through certain things, it will make you trigger to the point. So just hypothetically saying spook, AK Steve, he know, I said, I'm up on a therapy. I'm up on a therapy because my, my, my um, therapist is watching everything. She said, if Steve had nothing to lose, he would not be over here making a platform calling himself spook. If it was not Steve Harvey, Spook Media TV, or Spook TV Media, he's too invested in what I'm doing, what I'm saying, and how I'm saying it. If it's not you, then why are you saying anything? And if it's not you, why does it even bother you? And if it's not you, why do you even care? If it's not you, why did you ask for my phone number? If it's not you, why did you ask me to take down my videos? If it's not you, why do you keep calling me trying to get me to change my mind? If it's not you, why are you emailing me behind closed doors? If it's not you, why do you even know or how are you even connected with S.C. Berry in the first place? Why I'm doing this, you guys, and saying these things, you have to make it make sense for yourself. I'm clearly pointing out to you that Steve Harvey is spook TV media and his personal to him. I talked about him two nights ago and my bodyguard checked him and my bodyguard called and apologized. Because he's a good dude. But he said, Essie, it's been almost 10 years. And this man still calling you out your name. And you know if he talked to me like that, he talked to Mary like that. He talked to Margie like that. And he talked to um, his first wife like that. And look how he beat Winton. It just makes me sick. 
when I think about the man that he proclaims to be and behind closed doors, I know he's just a big teeth, a big tooth man who's lying to people and he's lying to the world. I think Mary Harvey used that because she had a platform and now that Mary has been paid off by Steve to be silent. When I had a platform, I didn't have nobody on my platform. I didn't have millions or thousands of people. I might not even have a 500 subscribers when I first started out. I ended up with like 30 or 40 and then Steve flagged my page and they had to put down. Um, I hate to feel like Mary used me, but even a lady who emailed me pretty much told me that Mary used me. I had several women come and tell me, Essie, Mary ain't got the heart you got. Why do you care about Mary like that? Mary said, I wonder why God sent you to me, Essie. Why did God let you protect me? Well, Mary, being honest, it wasn't even about you. After I seen how he beat Winter with a sorority paddle and a belt buckle and a paddle, that's what it became about. And then, Mary, it wasn't about you. After I seen how he beat Winton with a sorority pound and belt buckle, Steve Harvey started blackmailing me, and he put me in a case so I would shut up like Mary did. And he starts threatening my family members. This is who Steve Harvey is. And I'm about two seconds from writing a letter and destroying his whole career. Steve, I wrote NBC. You didn't retire. NBC took you off because they didn't want you to keep being affiliated with them because they knew that you was a monster because I sent them a police report. So every time you get on my page and you threaten me, that just shows more of my credibility. The lady who told me to go away and be silent and shut up, I think you should just walk away before you get some stuff that you ain't got. And if I feel like I am triggered that a point I want to get over and say something like I did today, then so be it. Because if you keep your mouth shut, then I won't say nothing. But if you don't keep your mouth shut and you keep coming for me, I don't care about putting Mary business out on this in that because Mary said it. I said what I said the way I said it. Mary said because she said it. And you're mad that you tried to gag Mary voice and didn't know I taped Mary conversations that she told me to take, got witnesses and got proof of that. And didn't know that you couldn't gag me the same way. She say, speak of Brad, do you know her sister Lisa Ray and Margie are good friends? Yeah, again, birds of a feather flock together. And Margie was named Coco Love. She was another person that was stalking me. So I'm sure Lisa Ray knew that. I don't know. Sometimes Lisa Ray to me act like she thinks she white because she bright. Because you light, you ain't white. So act your color. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to disrespect her because I feel like she may be a cool person. But to know that she rolls with Margie, her and Margie are quite a bit alike. I'm just saying. They are only saying you are jealous of Margie because she has expensive things, but that's not every lady's lifestyle. I call it women who have expensive things and they got labels on their back and that identify them. I call them label holes. I don't have to be labeled. I just want to be comfortable. When I walk out, I can get cute as the best sister if that's what I want to do. I have no ill feelings towards Margie. What I didn't like is that Margie Harvey made up a whole website called Coco Love. And I said, itch, I know that's you on that website. You better stand down because if you want to come for me and you wolfing. And I got videos of Margie Harvey calling me bitches, but she ain't going to do that in my face. That's what I do know. I'm just saying, if you really think that and Margie thinks she be doing all the shit she be doing, then y'all go rent a boxing match and put me and Margie in a boxing ring. That's all I'm saying. If that's what you really want to do, because I'm really about that life. I'm a street fighter. I start fighting with paper and pen instead of with my fist and my hands. But if a sister really thinks she want to get down like that, we ain't got to put on the gloves, boo. We can fight street fight and just wrap it with them. Um, um, tape if you want to. So I'm just saying, don't put me up against a sister because no sister is in my caliber. I would rather be ugly and smart than pretty and dumb and ain't got nothing about myself. The girl ain't never worked a job. Only thing she knows is buying stuff and using me and getting pimp sluts and hoes to do her dealings for her. So why would I be jealous? And Steve, if you like that, I love it. If you like a woman sleeping with your bodyguard, that ain't got nothing to do with me. 
you the one saying steve harvey in the text message that you sent me saying that margie ruined your life and i'm not trying to be disrespectful but i'm getting ready to film all that what he put in my text messages and in my instagram and i'm gonna let y'all see it for yourself some may say it ain't steve harvey okay some might say it is okay so i'm gonna let you see the first part of the conversation so he said don't stay in instagram because you can track the story let's go in google chat i i um copy and paste all the google chat too so even though we went in google chat i i um got all those conversations copied because i don't trust steve and i know who he is as a man and behind closed doors he said he will give me anything i want if i take my videos down he said he'll give me anything I want i want if i shut up so hypothetically saying y'all might say it could have been somebody else, Steve. Um, Essie, Steve don't talk like that. How do you know what Steve talk like when he nervous? How do you know what Steve talk like when he real angry? How do you know what Steve write like when he's discombobulated? How do you know what Steve feels like and sound like and act like and talk like and write like if he's confused and discombobulated and he's never been in this situation before? He going to act just like Spook Media TV, sitting over here thinking somebody's going to be threatened and nobody ain't. And nothing is covered up that will not be revealed. Exactly. And I'm the person to reveal it. Steve, if you know like I know, you ain't trying to step to this. Take me out of the divorce. Take me out of all that I got to deal with you. Because when y'all sleeping, I'm up thinking. And you can't outthink me. Come, I'm from the straight, dirty South. Some people say they in the South. You in the South, but you weren't born and raised in the South. I am straight from there, the backwoods of Columbus, Georgia. And when you sleep in, I'm up thinking how to annihilate you in your sleep legally. So remember that. Okay, Steve corrected your name. It's Marjorie, not Marjorie. He corrected us and let us know that his wife's name is spelled this way. It's not spelled that way. Well, Steve, we don't care how your wife's name is spelled. She still ain't got no caliber about herself. What has she done to make a difference in society? Because she married you, but look at the bummed out ass cat you are, and you a liar. So why are you over here, Steve? Don't nobody care how to spell her name. It's M-A-R-G-I-E. That's how y'all want to spell it. That's how we'll spell it. Steve, if you want to spell it, Margie, that's fine. You spell it that way. We don't care. He's trying to trigger somebody. Not today, fool. Not today. Don't make what people say turn you into butter. I know that's right. Marge is a whole hoe. Why would Essie or anybody be jealous? That's what I'm saying. He think that's a trigger point. I don't have time to be jealous of somebody. I would better be rich in God instead of rich in the world. If you stay rich in God, God will give you the wealth of the world. And the devil will give you the same thing. It's what choice you want to be. And you're mad that you can't change me and you can't stop me, nor can you stop my, my credibility. And I'm going to be honest with you. The woman that you see is because of you guys, because you start believing, you start listening, and people know my strength that I have. I don't have to get up here and loud, Steve Harvey. I don't have to get up here and do any of this. But if I don't do this now, then this man will continue to blackmail me I ain't seen one blogger put up a video saying, Essie said Steve Harvey was blackmailing her, but y'all put up all this other stuff. But what you don't realize is, if I was lying, why ain't he sued me yet? Accountability and ownership. Spook, won't you listen to Measure Man over here? Measure Man trying to tell you what time it is. Man, be a man, bro, and take accountability, Spook, a.k.a. TV, accountability of what you did to Essie and just make it right. He don't know how to make it right. That keeps bothering me too. Spook Media TV. It shouldn't bother you because I've already told you who it was. Spook Media TV is Steve Harvey. Don't let it bother you. Just pay close attention now. Go over his page and pull the oldest videos. You'll see those threats on those videos. Go pull two of his new videos. He just made a video about my bodyguard and trying to talk stupid about my bodyguard and talk stupid about me. You go, girl. Tell the truth. Speak on it. When I when I listen to you, I feel like shouting, yes, Lord, amen, because you know I know the truth. Whatever you have said, 
I, the dark, shall be heard in light. And that's true. Whatever's done in the dark, it will come to the light. They say he hear you. I know he hear me. That's why he over here on this mic. So, Steve, I'm giving you a chance to make it right because you got 48 hours. And I'm saying, you, even though you do or don't, because he said, Essie, I'll call you on one of our lives. He got my phone number. It's on court paperwork. He said, I ain't got your old number. I never gave my number to a person named Tim. And how would you know it was an old number? It's because it's cut off. So he asked me and said he wanted to call me and talk to me, but he's not a righteous man. He's not an honest man. If he's never talked to me in his life and he said I was a co-conspiracy and an extortionist, how can I believe what he'll say on the phone that we have a normal conversation? Somebody say, would you tape him? If he asked me not to tape him, no, I won't tape him. But I don't trust him at this point because he's a natural born liar. And if they keep coming at me, I'm telling you what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to contact all these bloggers and I'm going to tell them to write into his radio station. Um, the gentleman just put it up there to tell us who owned the radio station. So stop it. So why are you here? Sherelle said you better not come up for her. Because Sherelle, Sherelle is reporting business and Sherelle World is reporting things. But Sherelle or no blogger on this whole platform of YouTube got as much evidence on Steve Harvey and what he did to Mary and what he did to me and what he did to Winton and what he is behind closed doors. Nobody on this internet can match what I have against Steve Harvey. No one. You can bite off of it, but you don't have it. He said, that's right. She said he would talk to me without recording me. So he want to talk to me, but he don't want to record him. I'm not going to record him, but he better come with some clarity because at this point, you will be a dang on fool to still step and say, damn, this girl's still talking. That's why I got on this mic today because the woman who kept blowing my phone last night, something said, Essie, don't answer that phone. Keep getting your beauty sleep. I ain't this cute because I let people worry me. I'm this cute because God blessed me to be. So I'm not going to sit up here because I already know what I bring to the table. As a woman to a man, I know who I am. I can identify with myself. But when you got women marrying men just for money, like that's all Steve had. Women marrying you for money, then that's all you know. He don't know about a strong woman. He know about women betraying him, disrespecting him. And then you got Oh, baby, don't leave me. Baby, don't leave me. I'm going to look stupid. Baby, baby, don't leave me. That's what Stevie doing behind closed doors. That's what Mary said. Spook TV media is her to get attention like a narcissist dude. Spook TV media is Steve Harvey, and he want attention because Marge ain't giving it to him. And if I'm not mistaken, that last, one of the, not the last, but one of the first messages from instagram was march 2023 and i say steve where's margie i didn't say spook i didn't say tim i didn't say walton i said steve where is marjorie are you sneaking trying to talk to me he said no margie left me i really thought he was lying but since all this stuff is coming about cheryl strawberry now i know it was the truth and he was trying to tell me something and what you have whispered in a private jail room shall be proclaimed on the house top. Amen. Let me see what's the next one. Okay, Spook thinks I'm funny. What you think, funny Spook? Oh, you don't put the messages out. See, he don't know how he, he he can't he don't know how to deal with confrontation. He'd rather threaten somebody and go off on people. And let me let me drop the link down if somebody want to come on and log themselves in. I'll do that. Um, I just wanted to say that about the girl Patrice, and I wanted to say that about the girl who threatened me. And you're mad that I put out about Mary talking about her houses and what Steve stole. Then basically get a woman a house and get do whatever you're gonna do. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't care what they do with Mary at this time. I don't like that you keep coming for me. And the more you come for me, the more I'm going to put out tea. The book, Terry Smith, was fire. So if y'all haven't seen the book, I put a video out with the links to the book. Men will lie when a truth will do. Go over there and hear how Steve Harvey treated Terry Smith. That's how you know he a bummed out cat. Look how he treat women. He treat women like they're common my whores. And you can buy love. The only reason why Margie stayed with him 
because she didn't want him when he was broke because he got money now. And now you mad that Boom said he was booming and getting a little bit of that boom, boom. Don't get mad at boom, boom. Messi could resolve, but because you defend Mary, you have become a target. Stand your grounds. I'm a target because, like, I'm in their divorce. How did I get in their divorce? If they just take me out the divorce, I would be quiet, but they can't do that. Steve said bullshit. Bullshit about what, Steve? The apology? Um, what's, what you talking about bullshit about? That Marge, you didn't tell me that Marge was gone? 2023? Are you saying bullshit because you said that Margie ruined your life? I didn't say it. You said it in a, a Instagram message. And then I got you in Google, Google chat and he named himself David Steve Harvey. That was the dumbest thing that he could do. You shouldn't have put Steve Harvey nowhere in it. And hypothetically saying, let's say it ain't Steve. The nigga told me in March, that in March of 2023, in a message that Margie left him. I have to believe that now because of all the stuff Cheryl Strawberry said. I'm just saying. Oh, you think something funny? Okay, we think a lot funny too. Okay. And everything I say, I'm going to always have receipts. Steve, I will never come at you like a man. That's because he's not a man. You know what? That's something for real. And I had to think about that, Roxanne. How are you going to come at me as a man? Because he don't even know how to be one. He wrote a book about woman, a woman. So you got to have tendencies. And all he had to do is really come at me as a man and say, Essie, this was wrong. And let's squash this and show the world that I can be a better man. He would rather sit up and make jokes and stalk me and call me out my name. Okay, I'm with it. I think the general, we need to think. When people are this overly invested, it feels good, book and images. What is driving that? Exactly, manipulation. So basically, never ignore patterns. So, so he's basically saying, if Steve was not spooked, why is he so invested? If Steve is a spook, why he seem like he want to keep coming at me? And if you, if you look at the book, Terry Smith, men will lie when the truth will do. That tells you how Steve Harvey treat women and what he do. Yeah, he got tendencies. He got tendencies of female goats, female cows, females. He got tendencies. I said what I said the way I said it. What do you want? What receipts do you got? Can you blow that paper up? Okay, let me see what Miss April got to say. And anybody else is welcome too if they want to come on. What's up, Miss April? Hey, hey, Essie, how are you? I'm fine, beautiful, and how are you? I'm doing okay. Yeah, you know, just thankful to be alive, you know. So that's yes, all there is to it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, I so just want to say... Oh, I'm sorry. You go ahead, finish. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Essie, I just want to say this. When I look at Steve Harvey, big lips, I just want to throw up and vomit. I don't see why Marjorie want to kiss that nasty big lips. He got money. His lips don't look big to her when you got money. Ooh. I, ooh it just makes me sick. It makes me vomit, you know? Girl, I've been like that for 10 years. I understand, but that's Mary. I mean, that's Margie Booth thing. She like it. I love it. She like the big nip. You know and I'm saying because he got the money. Then let Margie do her. My thing is, though, she's married to a person who's corrupt. And he's he's she's married to a person that will disrespect black women. And she's married to a person who don't see about his own kids. But why would she care, beautiful, if he taking care of her kids? She's not going to care. Absolutely right. See what I'm saying? Right. Mm hmm You know what too, Essie? Um, you know Steve Harvey. He 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 need an independent, strong woman like you, Steady Marjorie. He get all these uh, uh these thugs. I, Go ahead. He get all these what? I said I said Steve Harvey, he should be with a woman like you. You know, that's strong, that's independent, that's hard working, but he get a woman like Marjorie. She too or she too old to keep 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 being a whore. Miss April said what she said the way she said it. You're too old for that. And let me tell you something. 
the dirty things that Steve has done, he couldn't even afford to have a woman like me. He could have the, all the money in the world, but if you don't do right by people, I can't be with nobody like that because that's going to reflect back on who I am. You know what I'm saying? Too bad he didn't really have a woman like that who could tell him what's right, what's wrong, what he should do. He too busy worried about women paying him off so he could tell them what to do. So he could never have a woman like me because I would listen. But if you're wrong, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to do any of that. And the first thing I would do if I had a man like him, I would strip him down and beat his ass like he beat Winters. Right. That's terrible. You know, and you know, too. You know what, too, Essie? Um, I ain't going to try to be too long, but, you know, when it comes to Steve Harvey, he just makes me sick. I don't understand why is he still on a radio station because he's not funny. He's not talented at all. Because we still, there's still a lot of people listening to him and we allow him to stay on that mic. That's why when we start taking him off that mic, that'll be something different. Mm -hmm. what's his name um, exposed him another comedian uh, he had a big issue with him and I think he he uh, uh, be on YouTube too I'm trying to try to say his name right I think it's Corey Honkums how you say his name I can't pronounce it oh, too well but it's, know you know who I'm talking about, about. yeah Yes, yeah, I think he got a real big issue with Steve. He said how Steve did him dirty too. Did yeah, you I'm have, have do you have... at Corey? Huh? I have seen, I've seen the videos that Corey made. I've seen what he said about Steve. Um, there was a whole lot of things said about Steve, but you see, he ain't open his mouth to that man. He ain't gonna do nothing but open his mouth to women because he think he can rule women and talk to them any kind of way. But he ain't gonna do men like that. Mm -hmm. And y'all see how Miss April just did that? I put the link in the box. So all y'all do is click the link and I can bring you on. Miss April, I thank you. I love you. I thank you for standing for me. And I really appreciate you corresponding with me, love. No problem. Thank you for letting me come. I'm sorry if I was so long. I'm sorry. Yeah. Baby, you ain't, you ain't got to never apologize when a queen is speaking. I need to hear what she's saying. Never okay. that. She was not too long. All right, baby. Okay. Take care. You too. Okay, bye bye. That was very nice of her to come on and let me hear what she had to say. I'm loving it. And thank y'all for being so kind and courteous in the box because I'm really reading all the comp, you know, the conversation and everything. Um, Steve Harvey mad that I'm coming like I'm coming, aka spook. Y'all, y'all doing oh Lord, did I come up, y'all? Y'all still hear me? Hold on. Okay, I had clicked my page down for a minute. 241. Oh, 241 is the number of the indictment. So there's somebody sent me some paperwork saying that Steve Harvey was under arrest or going to be arrested. I had to see the paperwork for myself. And when I seen the paperwork for myself, I see Miss Lynetta McCain. Come on, Lynetta, it's showing your device ain't hooked up. She's trying to come in. Um, when I seen the paperwork for myself, Steve Harvey was number 241, and they said that he is waiting for an uh, indictment to be arrested. Whatever he's going to be arrested for, I'm not sure, but on this list, he was number 241, and I have no reason to lie about that. So while he keeps trying to come at me, he needs to figure out why his name is on that paper getting ready to be indicted. Ms. Lynette, I see you trying to come in. But it's some kind of way it block you. So try to go out and come back in. If Steve is spook TV, it just proves he's not a man. It ain't if, it is. Like he tried to co correct your name or correct Margie's name. Don't nobody care what her name is. Spook Mini TV, don't think you're anonymous. How he's anonymous, it's not hard to find your IP. Well, y'all find it. Let me see what Miss Kane got to say here. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yep, everybody else can too. Hey, you know, I'm having a car rush trying to get on. I tried it, but it won't. It's work. okay. I'm finishing up here this title of this book. Hey, we're going to stop this. Come on, I'm going to work, and we're going to go to the FBI agent and the CID because you know I used to work for them. And we're going to put a trace on Mr. Spook. And Spook, if you say Sonia Norwood coming, you tell her she got the right damn B I T C H. I'm waiting. 
That's all I got to say. She said what she said the way she said it. Did y'all hear that, Spook? Thank you, Miss Lynette. I really love you. Oh, please, we're going to do this. Okay. Bye. Hey, y'all, I love Miss Lynette. Miss Lynette, a rider, y'all. She one of them real sisters. She like a big sister. She like, And she be dead serious about anything she say. So I know that God's making a way. That's why he got all y'all listening to it. Thank you so much, Measure Man. You know, I love these women, but it really makes me feel good when men come standing with a sister. Because I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. I don't have time for all this. Thank you guys so much. Essie is not. You better tell her. You better tell them. Jaguar, baby. Jaguar what? You better stop. See, and then he want to talk. He said, when, oh, he told on himself. He said, Wendy, find me then. Steve, Steve. I ain't got to find you. I can destroy you without finding you, Steve. But now look how he addressed. Find me. Who is me? Huh? If you know like I know, Steve, he's scared of me. Mm -hmm. You worry about it and see that, Miss Lanetta? See what he talking about? He think he untouchable. Yeah, okay. Keep being untouchable. Y'all paying attention though, right? That's what you got to pay attention to. You got to pay attention to the things that is not being said. And that's the only way, Miss Lucy, that I was able to win this fight because I was walking by faith and not by sight. And God has been leading me, period. Yeah, I might cuss a little bit and check a nigga here and there, but I know that God has spared me. And that's why I'm here today for that reason. I would love to have help you all. Oh, thank you. I will born again version. B-O-R-N, again, A-G-A-I-N, version, V-I-R-T-I-M, I'm going to have something to pick, I'm sorry, V-I-R-G-I-N, version, 53 at gmail.com, born again, version, 53 at gmail.com, and then I have another one, victims, V-I-C-T-I-M-S, put victims with an S on the end of it, free, F-R-E-E 2022 at gmail.com. So born again version 53 at Gmail and victims free at um 2022 at gmail.com. Thank you guys. And I'm gonna let y'all know when I need y'all help. I'm gonna let you know. And measure man, I really thank you for showing up today, right? Cross, Mr. Fred. I thank all y'all for showing up today. Right, cause say all the snakes come out the bushes, 101. I had to let you come on and say what they going to say. The bra who called me, if you want to be a cheerleader for Steve Harvey, you can come on now and be a cheerleader for Steve Harvey. The hills have eyes. So you better say it, measure, man. Now, look, all these women talking and spook TV media is out here talking to us. But he ain't said nothing to this man that's on here who checking him. It's about credibility and knowing what you do. Spook, a.k.a. Steve, I heard some people already found you and that they're going to bring Ricky down. That may be why he don't want to be bothered with you. What? I heard that, too. They watching. People are watching now. Riverbend out. Okay, so Riverbend is a trick who sat up here and what she do, she go to Pacer and she put people business out on a Pacer account. So she go in there because I guess she worked with one of them. She's some type of paralegal and she'll go in there and um, put people business out from court cases. I think they call a river bend because she done bent over too many rivers. And that's why she can't come out like that. He got he got to have women working for him because, again, he has tendencies. And look at him being stupid up here, still trying to threaten me instead of making it right. Steve. There is a warrant. They get ready to come get you. You are on some documents showing that I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna show y'all that. Showing that you're gonna be indicted and arrested. And you trying to worry about me. If you do right by me, everything you think about may get better. But until you do right, everything you think about will fail. Even though Mary Turner, you still helping her. Look, I I, I can't be partial. I can't be like messed up i have to be on what i said i can't like be one way and say i'm another i can't say i'm an activist and don't live by what i say what up miss blast hi miss barry how are you doing 
Hi, beautiful. How are you? I'm fine, Miss Barry. Hi, I was just wondering and checking and and I thought watch your video and I was just wondering how do you feel as a survivor? Uh, what are your thoughts? What are your long night thoughts and your fears? Miss Blass, nobody has ever asked me that. So as a survivor of being victim of stalking harassment, it took me a long time to get through that. I thought that I would not be able to mentally be capable of the things that they put me through. I thought when he was making fun of me being an abuser, as far as my mom abusing me, them blowing my house up and stuff, the videos that they made, the grammar that he speaks out of his mouth, I didn't know how to be. I was already a survivor because, you know, I've been abused as a child. But to come as a grown, full-fledged, all the way back around, and to see that Steve Harvey as a man has done this to me, it makes me doubt the credibility of men. It makes me know now that I can't believe what's on TV. It makes me know now to believe half of what I see and none of what I hear unless I see it and know it for myself. And every day, even though I get on this page and I do it for you guys, I'm still in a, I'm in an everyday process. I'm in the everyday struggle of trying to keep my stability where it is. And this right now, it does not bother me like it used to because I found out who he was. But I also have created bar with women. So if he tried to go after some of the people that's on my platform, he's just making himself look more worse and more worse than what he has already done. I can't say someone who has went through what I went through as far as stalking um, and how he did it. It was brutal. <laughs> Because I've never had a man come to me like that. I've never had a man talk to me like that. Because I'll drag you where you stand. But I'm not going to be with a disrespectful man. But to know that Steve Harvey doesn't know me. He doesn't know anything about me. And all he tried to do was to hurt me. To bring me down. To make me look like I had less credibility. To gag a black woman. It did a little something to me. I'm not going to lie. So I don't want anybody to think that it didn't. But it was something one night I prayed and God said, no one can do nothing to you unless you allow them to. You said that you believe in what I told you, then you need to believe that. And my bodyguard came in one day. He said, Essie, people don't even know the righteous person that you are behind closed doors. He said, don't think that Steve Harvey ain't getting their karma behind closed doors because they are. So I got to trust and believe and walk by faith and not by sight. And remember what God told me when I'm sleeping here at nighttime by myself wondering what is going to be this next move. But what I do feel comfortable about is like you and a lot of other people, you see it for yourself now and you know that I'm telling the truth. I put the messages out. I put the videos out because if I didn't, everybody would be saying I'm crazy. It's never what I say. It's always what I can prove. And I'm always going to stand for what's right. So to me, I'm still in the process now of healing myself. But it's a different kind of healing now, Miss Blast. It's a different kind of power now, Miss Blast. It's a different kind of victory right now. Because I used to say that I know God. But going through this, baby, I know God better than I can know myself. And I know with God, I know everything is possible. And because because I do know God, I'm not saying I know God. I mean, like, I'm just saying it. I'm saying I know him. I know what God can do. And I have to tell you that God has really carried me through this. Why he let me go through all this, I question God because I'm a good person and I didn't deserve the lies that Steve Harvey told on me. But why I went through it, I think that God wanted you and all these other women to meet me, to know that you have a voice, to know that you have a choice, to know that there is something greater than God, to know that you should walk by faith and not by sight, and know when someone is coming at you that the forces of God is greater than anything that you can ever imagine. And don't back down because no one can tell your truth better than you. And there's so many women that are afraid to speak out or there are so many women that are afraid to fight 
I was behind closed doors fighting for people like you. I fight for the underdogs. I don't fight for people like Mary. The only reason why I'm in this is because of what Steve did to Winston and because he's blackmailing me and trying to get me locked up so I won't talk about him. But what he doesn't understand now, God's not going to allow it to be that way. And I don't know if I should have felt happy or not, but when somebody sent me that paper showing me that there was an indictment for him and that he will be getting arrested, I ain't going to lie. I felt good as hell. I felt like, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. And God said, you ain't supposed to be happy off nobody else downcomings or downfallings, but he ain't even trying to make it right. And just to know that he will be paid, whether it's now, today, tomorrow, and there's a indictment and they're waiting for to arrest him because they got him up under investigation. I'm just going to sit and wait it out like God told me to, Miss Blast. So as victims, oh. we all are victims. Go ahead, beautiful. So I'm hearing that you're saying that your fight and your battle, I understand for yourself, definitely, because to clear your name, um, I understand that. And that's something that I will fight for in er when it comes to my name and my freedom and, you know, me live as peaceful life and you know so when it comes down to his son um one ton when it comes to him um wouldn't that be more of winton will have to step forth would it more of would it, would it be more of you wanting your name cleared and you know because i've been watching you guys on all the stations um, on the the turf, the turf, um, and the spooky, and as I watch and watch throughout the time, because I work from home and 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 I have a lot of time, so back and forth throughout the years and listening at each one of you guys, I'm noticing. That it seemed like Miss Barry, they trying to shut you up. But I know you want your name ch to be cleared, and you want to shut up, but you want your freedom, and that's understandable. But what really seemed so strange to me the other night, as I lay in my bed and listen at the Shura Strawberry, and and the voice like. I know this voice. I know this voice. And it, it, I thought about the turf, the turf, whatever. And that the lady, the Liz, Liz Johnson, I think that's her name. Liz Those Jackson. voices. Yes, yes, yes. Those voices is alike. And I thought to myself and I was like, well, maybe they all was in this together against Miss Barry. Of course they were. Because I remember, <laughs> hold, on, hold on. I remember this night when when Steve as the spooky went off on Liz. He cussed her out and he dogged her. And it's just the words that he used against her. And I said to myself, what woman would allow a man to even talk to her like that? And I say, it's either two things. It's either they sleeping together or they know each other's very close. So then as I, I matched the voice and I noticed that Ms. Liz no longer is on the Spook channel, but Ms. Liz is definitely on the turf. And as I began to listen at the voice, I thought to myself, I said, that is Miss Liz, Cheryl Strawberry. It sound like Miss Liz, allegedly. Somebody else said that too. That's why I said I know that Cheryl Strawberry was in on it. Somebody said that Cheryl Strawberry was but Liz. Miss Barry, here's the thing. 
Miss Bar Miss Strawberry, I looked at her online and um she appears to be such a wise woman from off the show with the radio. And at 67, you would have all of that in you and threatening, harassing, speak ugly words to allow somebody to take you to hell. And I was like, maybe it's all of this is what's happening to Miss 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 Strawberry and what Tommy and all of them behind closed doors. Maybe it's the com the karma that's coming back because how they doing Miss Barry. And I don't want to hold you too long. And that just was a thought. And just wanted to just let you know, just to continue to stand up for yourself. You know, just get your name pulled out of all of this mess and this chaos. And, you know, just uh, if Mr. Harvey is listening to all of this mess, Mr. Harvey, just get your name out of this. And, you know, say so you, you could just be cleared, Miss Barry. And that, that old Mary lady, that little Mary lady, you know, Miss Miss Mary ain't hasn't stood up. She hadn't said and croaked the bird unless it was time for her to want whatever she wants. She used you as a tool, Miss Barry. She used you as that tool. And you still here years, years, over five, six years, fighting and fighting. And, and they want you to shut up because they don't know what you got. And I... I can tell you have a lot that they don't even know. Yeah, I do. But I just pray that he just get you out of this mess. Shut all the doors up and give you an apology. Get your name about it. These judges and lawyers, they all will be held accountable for what they do. And that's all I want to let you know, Miss Barry. And you have a great day. I thank you so much, Miss Blast, for that. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys are hearing that. I didn't even know she was watching still the true page. Um, T R U F F F T H E E D T R U F F F number five. That is Ricky Anderson. That is Steve Harvey's page. And someone else had told me after clarifying the voices that they did feel like Liz Jackson was Cheryl Strawberry. And matter of fact, the same site that we're saying bullying me, they made a video the other night. See, I know you're all punks and cowards because you stay behind that thumbnail. I show my face. I just felt like today I want to get more trying with you guys. And I thank you, Ms. Blast, for pointing those things out, saying those things to me. Um, because at the end of the day, that's really what all they have to do. They say, look, Essie, we ain't going to bother you no more. We done took you out of everything. But I don't feel like 100% I want to take my videos down because I could take them down and y'all be the forgot about what I said. Like, this dude is telling the truth. And he do the same thing again. So with that, I have to tell you guys, I thank people for noticing, understanding, focus, and paying attention to what's going on. Because sometimes people feel like they're dumb and they're not trying to see what's really going on. And at least Miss Blast and other people have focused and saw this for years. So we already know what's going on. And thank you guys, too, for loving me, not even knowing me, standing was was for truth. And stand and allow my voice to be heard, you know. And I know that they're scared, you know what I'm saying? But they're no scatter than I was when they was blowing my house up. They're no scatter than I was when they was threatening my children. They're no scatter than I was when they was threatening my family and my friends. So now the tables have turned. And I do believe that Cheryl Strawberry, Steve Harvey, and all these other people are meeting a Connor with me. Somebody says you just like the boomerang and see they finna come back and it's gonna be what it's gonna be no matter what. I don't stand with Steve Harvey Marge, but talking about the sun campus went down to college. And I have those police reports too. When Steve Harvey said boom there and Marjorie was telling them to take, take their phone and stuff like that. I have a lot of stuff and a lot of it's damaging information. Certain things I ain't even let out. So if they call themselves gonna bring me to court, it will really crucify Steve. And it's going to take down Margie, too. So they better get their plan together because they know what I'm talking. And this is not Scooby-Doo. So know who you are and stand for what you believe in. And at this time, I don't know if y'all think I'm faking or whatever. Why would I be on this internet for 10 years if I'm not telling the truth? Why would I be fighting like this if I wasn't telling the truth? Why are y'all even giving this man the satisfaction to even keep him on the radio and listen to what he's saying? And we know he's not telling the truth. 
I, I, I heard that Big Boom had slept with Margie. I just didn't know he had a child by Margie. And that would make most sense. They used to be in the gambling house together, the dope house together. They used to roll together. So quite naturally, she probably knew him in some kind of way. And if that's Big Boom kid, Big Boom, you should have stepped up to the plate before now because all y'all lies and stuff are coming out. And if Steve said I was a bottom feeder, then so be it, beat it. I'm from the bottom taking my way up and I'm putting all that shit out that y'all have said and how y'all done violated the law. Didn't Mary send child support for his older kids? I know Mary said that, but I didn't see no receipts. She can say one thing, but she can do another. But do I believe that Mary may have? I would really have to ask Marsha to say, you know, to know that for sure. But to know Mary sent any kind of child support and knew that she was messing with Steve and he was still married, Mary got to realize her karma came back to bite her. Did you not think because he was married before that he wouldn't do you the same way? So now you want to sit up here and try to protect him and not say certain things because you act like he was a noble man. The same way he did his first wife is how he did Mary, but worse. To take her in a mental ward and then take her and check her out and then she go to court. I'm not even sure how they was even able to have a court date. So how was that legal? And I'm not just standing for Mary. I'm standing for my truth. I'm just a part of their drama. So what do I do? Without Mary, I wouldn't even been in this dang old situation. And it seems like um, it seems like that I can't get out of it because all I know is I need to make this right how I need to declare my name. And all Steve got to do as a man is stop playing games and let me know what he going to do. He said, give me five minutes. You can clock on. You got the stream yard down there. You can click on. Give you five minutes for what, Steve? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to put him out. And I don't want to buy us put him out. What I want you to see is that he's afraid of me. And he keep popping in my box because he knows that I know. No, that's where y'all mess up at. This is just showing how he's coming at me. This is just showing that there's a pattern. So you want me to give you five minutes on the phone and off. Because all the people are watching right now, Steve, if you want to come on and say something, you can come on right now and make this all right and say you apologize, but you ain't that man. And I'm not that woman to back down. So what we doing? Give you five minutes for what? Mm -hmm. And I don't really like that that nigga put Sonya up in here. You know, I like challenges. I like bras that think they going to come and shut me down. I want to see Sonya open her mouth to me because, baby, I'm going to light up this internet like Fort Knox. I didn't go seek out the Kane family or the Brown family. They seek me out. And evidently, God put my spirit into the Lanetta spirit to know that I'm the one to fight this. I feel like because I'll be listening to how Miss Lanetta talk and how she speak, I feel like I'm a, a, a younger version of her and she saw herself within me. So that's how she came to me. So if Sonia think that I'm going to let her disrespect Lynetta Kane because she's brand new, Ray J mama, Sonia, if you know like I know, you ain't trying to step to this. Y'all better tell Sonya to stay in the corner that she belong in because Sonya ain't ready for this kind of battle. I don't think you got more money than Steve Harvey, but you definitely got more strength and knowledge in battle. So whatever they want to do now, I will not stop for fighting for C-Dub. I will not stop fighting for Lynetta Kane. But what I will do is tell y'all don't call my phone because somebody called my phone and said, um, what are you going to do right, Essie? Why don't you just shut up? Well, if Willie Norwood was going to do right, and don't tell me to shut up no more. If Willie Norwood was going to do right, he would have came before now. He ain't trying to do right. He just want to say what he want to say. And if he needs um, Sonya to fight his battles, then nigga, go get Sonya. Spook, go get Sonya. Y'all can go get whoever you want to get. Yes, ma'am, Miss Sharon? Hi there. Can you hear me? Miss Sharon? I can, beautiful. What's going on? Hi there. I've been listening to you for quite some time and I wasn't going to check in, but I believe I'm supposed to check in. And I want to say this to you. Uh, one of the things that Steve had said some time ago when he was having a conversation with Monique, he said, she clearly asked him, did he prefer the bag 
than integrity. And Steve went on to say basically about the bag. Mm. When, we when we represent Christ, I want to really encourage you today because this is really bigger than Steve. And I want you to understand that even though you want your name out of the situation, the reason why God is using you the way he's using you is because he's getting ready to expose so many people that even has little to do with Steve. Steve said on his platform the other day, he says, the devil comes, he only uses people he got for people to come for people he don't have. The part that he forgot was, in order for the devil to do anything, he has to get God's permission. And so what I need for you to understand is that this whole situation that has blew up, there are ways that God has to allow it to blow up. And in order for people to understand that he's not to be played with. I have a saying, you make a mockery out of God, God will make a fool out of you. Everybody keep putting God into everything they do and doing all kinds of things, and he's not gonna have it anymore. So even though certain things have been blown up about Steve and this, he's only using this because he has to break down certain things in all our lives, character, integrity. He's not giving us platforms to be nasty and evil. He's given us platforms to show love to people, concern. He's given us platforms to do things differently. And we have taken the opportunities that God has given us and made a mockery out of who he is. The last thing I wanna say is that I hear your testimony and your testimony and mine are very much similar. The abuse and all that has transpired. We lately been talking about Strawberry and how her apology was on Steve's platform. And many of us got upset because she didn't mention her daughter. But that the way she did it, was supposed to upset us. Why? Because it's time for us to start watching out for our kids. It's time for our kids to heal. And a lot of them can't heal because they can't have an honest conversation based on what their parents has done because they don't want to take accountability. So now we got our kids out here who are going through so much, who are struggling, killing one another, hurting each other, and we, as a people, don't know how to take the opportunity that has been given to us. Because this is an opportunity. How we do it will depend on us. But it's not about a fight. Now is the time that we're going to make some changes. Now is the time we stand together and say we will not tolerate certain things. We won't tolerate a boost. We won't tolerate men hurting us. We won't tolerate our sisters fighting each other. We won't tolerate another Shanquella. We won't tolerate another Will Smith going up to hit Rock, Chris Rock on a, on a platform before the world. We're not tolerating that anymore. We are at a crossroad. What is it that we really believe? What is it that we really want? What is it that we really stand for? Many people say they're Christians. Many people have talked about God from left to right. Every time they do something, God is in it. Well, God is first integrity. God is first, you don't hurt your sisters and your brothers. You don't hurt your husband and your wives. You don't hurt people. That's not God. God is love. And for all these people that is using these platforms, talking about they know the Lord, and all these people that's going around hurting people behind closed doors, he's coming for you. So Steve is just going to be an open door. There's more that's coming behind. You wait and you will see. There are a lot of people that's getting ready for, a lot of preachers, a lot of bishops, 
are getting ready to fall because God did not give you a platform to make a mockery out of who he is, but he gave you a platform to change things, to change what's going on with these kids, to change people who, we just saw a documentary with Kirk Franklin brought me to, to tears. And I finally got the answer that I've been looking for at the end of his documentary. Because one of the things Kirk's mother could not come to grips with her demons. And because she couldn't come to terms with her demons, she couldn't set him free, but his father did. And then he went to his son. That is what God is looking for, for you to come clean with character, come clean with your ch children. Stop getting on that platform talking about you love everybody but your children. Oh, yeah. Miss Strawberry was supposed to do what she did because we supposed to now let people know if you don't love your children, you can't tell us nothing. And so I'm saying to you today to encourage you, don't take this personal. If God brought you to it, he's going to bring you through it. Don't be concerned. He gave it to you because you could handle it. May not be something I could have handled. May not be something that the next person could have handled. But he gave it to you because he knew that you've been through enough stuff in this world that you could handle this, what is going down. So make no mistake. If God brought you in it, he's going to take care of you. Because this is more about the black community than you can ever imagine. This is more about these kids who can't, who are committing suicide, who are doing drugs, who can't handle the depression, all because they need an honest conversation. And we all heard Cheryl Strawberry get up on there, on that mic, and was apologetic to everybody for her own child. Remember, you, everyone who's listening to me who has a child, that child was given to you as a stu as you being a steward over it. But ultimately, every child in the world is God's child. And I'm telling you this, you're going to take accountability for everyone who has been mistreated, who has been hurt, who has been through things that they should not have gone through. I'm not saying that some people haven't put themselves through things because yes, they have. But you this, this thing that we got about, I brought you in the world, I'll take you out the world, all these curses that we have put on these kids and our kids because we haven't showed love. We're getting into what we want or how we think things should be and how we want them to be. Every child is God's child. And every person has, every child that has been mistreated. And when I say child, I'm talking about even if you're an adult, there is accountability that is coming. And God has to show us through somebody what he means business. So don't take it personal. This ain't a personal battle. This is a real battle that's getting ready to break our community, to make us understand you must be accountable for your actions, regardless of who it is. It ain't about getting by, oh, you know, well, if I'm black, then we all hang because we black. If I'm white, we all hang. This ain't got nothing to do with that. If you're going to talk God, we're going to talk God. And God is love. Therefore, if all this hate is coming from one person, that means, like you said, birds of the feather flock together, then there are certain people in my mind that's connected to Steve that I have now second guessed about. So I encourage you today, keep doing what you're doing. Don't take it personal. It's all good. It's going to work out for your good. And if you, God put you in this mess, he's going to bring you out of it. I guarantee you. Sharon, you almost had me in tears over here. You a powerful sister, my sister, and I needed that to be said. And I like the way you said that. And I really never looked at it that way. If he put you in it, he going to see you through it. Because I just didn't walk up on this by myself. So, no. you know, sometimes you need that other way of what you just said. Because I, not saying I doubted God, but I dang right. sure question him, you know, right. to put me as an activist on a name or extortion and co-conspirator, I right. didn't really understand why. 
and you probably right. still won't. But now, when someone tell you something, how you just did that and how you just said that, I'm gonna analyze this whole situation totally different now because that is true, and I really need to look at it that way because I didn't pick this. God chose this. Right, you got it. And don't be angry with anybody. Do what you do. Do it how you got to do it. But don't be angry about it. Okay. Take it. Cause the, okay. Because the reward is going to be great. You're going to understand. You know, like old people used to say, you'll understand it by and by. You're going to understand by and by why all this went down. But initially, the reason why it went down is because of everything you went through from when you was a kid. He was preparing you then for now. You wouldn't be as strong as you are now. You wouldn't be as tough as you are not had you not been through what you've been through. And I've been through similar things, but I, I don't know if I could have done this. Now I've done some, he's put me in some situations that I thought was, whoa. But when the end paid off, it was unbelievable. So you're not only dealing, and the thing with the bloggers, I don't, I want the bloggers to get out of the petty stuff because this is serious business. This is not, this is not about the, the norm. Sometimes we take an opportunity and we miss the opportunity because we get into the petty stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't about the petty stuff no more. This is the real deal now. So now this is time that we just try to do things a little different. And we start making a stand on what we truly believe and what we know is right. And we've been pushed down so long about what we think is the right thing or how we was raised and how our culture's culture is. So we look at life the way we were raised. But it doesn't mean that it was always right. So now we got to look at things a little differently and see it in the way God sees it. And so now what I'm saying is that, hey, don't look at it as just you as a battle with you and Steve. Steve got to take accountability to God no matter what. No matter what. If we really going to believe God, then we got to believe God's got all of this in control. Everybody that's in this little entanglement, this is what I call entanglement. Everybody that's in this little entanglement, he ordained for them to be in it. Each person got a lesson to teach all of us. Shirley Strawberry got a lesson to teach us. Marjorie, Marjorie got a lesson to teach us. Townsend got a lesson to teach us. If we all pay attention, there are lessons that we need to learn as long as we don't take it personal. This ain't about you and Steve and Mary. This is about God because God is not going to be made a mockery of. He's just like he's shutting a whole lot of things down. He's going to shut a lot of people down because you will not use his name and then go around talking about you went to God when you're trying to kill people. That's not how God fun functions. And he will not allow anybody when he died on the cross for all of us to say he's that kind of God. So, like I said before, Steve said, the devil don't come after nobody that he already got. I say, in order for the devil to come at all, he has to get permission from God. I believe you. I thank you. And I receive that. And I think I need to hear that today, like hear your voice saying that, because that, like I said, that's a whole different way of analyzing it like that. And I'm definitely, if y'all see today, I really try not to get angry or anything. I really just tried to speak on what I said, a few things, mm -hmm. even like when Spook come in, which I know is Steve Harvey, 100%, it ain't even mm -hmm. about getting angry before, but I have to let y'all know if I don't say it now, like he actually got mm -hmm. a judge to try to take a warrant out for me for my arrest in a state mm -hmm. that I'm in. So what happens right. when y'all sleep and y'all don't know what's going on and then they come get me, at least you will know the story and at least right. you know the battle. I know with all you beautiful sisters that God got me and Miss Lynetta Kane, I don't think she nobody mess with either. So I'm not worried. I've never been worried, but I just thank right. God that he be soldiers. And I really thank you for putting a different perspective on how I look at things.
because what you said is true. And that was some deliverance that I needed to hear from you. So with that, sister, I really thank you for that. And I appreciate you. And you can tell that you're anointed by God and God has blessed you because you speak volume. And I think it's some about us as ones who have been abused, that our right. things are different in our mind, mentally, emotionally, and physically. That's what right. it is. And, and you know, that. I, and, and, and I'm not going to go into, I got a book out. But I'm not going to talk about that because that's not what this is about. You understand? Because you would get to know who I am, who I really am, and my struggle and my walk with the Lord. So and I wasn't even going to make this call, but I couldn't sit on it. After you started really going in, I couldn't sit on it for some reason. I had to come and tell you that, you know, just, just be cool. Cause and look at it in a whole nother, like you said, you're going to look at it and I believe you are. And I'm going, I believe that you're going to see that just how you wanted to fight for Winton. This is going to be more of a fight for more people, more young people. Cause they are listening to you now, you got their ear. And when you get their ear, we can make changes. So it's a, it's, it's be, the reason why your passion for Winton is because there are more Wintons out here. There are more Essies. You see, you see what I'm saying? There's more essays out here that need to hear the voice. We don't want them to fight. We don't want them to get angry. We want them to get free because they're not free. And so we need to change how we're doing business now. And this is the time that God has, has ordained for us to now make changes in our communities make changes in our kids, make changes in, the, in, 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 in our culture, but we gotta know that we can miss the opportunity and we blow it. This is our opportunity to say certain things we are not gonna tolerate. No disrespect. It's not we disrespecting our elders, but you can't be raping your daughter and then talking about you preaching the, you know, you're preaching the gospel. On, you can't now. be doing all you, you see what I'm saying? You can't you can't be up in the pulpit, you know, calling our kids hoes and all of this kind of stuff, and they only mm -hmm. doing what the best they know how to do. You can't do it anymore. We're not tolerating that. So we gotta shut them down. We shut them down. You see what I'm saying? But the time is different now. That's why so much is happening. People say we I don't understand what's happening. We don't understand what's happening. God is what's happening right now. Get a clue. And he's using certain people to tell us certain things. You hurt your kids. You don't love one of your kids. You don't go back and say you sorry. You know you've done things to them you had no business doing. You know you put them in situations that they shouldn't have been in. And now they're going crazy. They're on drugs. They're committing suicide. They're doing all kinds of things. Because they can't have an honest conversation with their parents to say, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have did that. So now he's putting people on the platform. They got big platforms. How would God use anybody if he ain't going to use a big a target like Steve? He's got to use somebody big. How else are we going to see it? All kinds of names has been floating since you've been, you've been going through this thing with Steve. Every kind of name, every kind of person has been floating since you've been going through this here ordeal. Names I wouldn't even thought about. I'm like, what? But that's what he wants. He wants our eyes open. So I just caution all everybody, take a breath and let God be God and let us stand for what's right, irregardless to who it is, irregardless to who it is, it either it's going to be right or if it's going to be wrong. Stop loving people and personality more than you love God. Let's get a clue. Stop falling in love with personality and understand what is right and what is wrong. And if somebody's hurting somebody else in any kind of way, it's not right and it's not God. And I don't care how much they preach God, it's a lie. And that's what I just would, I just needed to tell you that. I thank you so much for that beautiful. Um, and I would love to get you back on here. We talk about your book. So email me and hit me up in one of those boxes so I can do All that right. for sure. Because you seem like you got a lot of knowledge. And I would love to hear your story. Because one voice can make a difference and one voice can make a change. 
Well, you definitely make a difference and you have encouraged me since you've been fighting because sometimes the, the fight is so long and so hard. And so it's like, is it worth it? And it so you, are, you, <laughs> you know, so you're no. encouraging the fighters. OK, you're encouraging even those that were called to fight who stopped fighting because they don't see a reason to fight anymore. So you're on your post. Thank so you. keep the good work up. OK, and I'll definitely be connected. No doubt. Thank you. And make sure you email yeah. me, Born Again Version 53, so we can get your book out here, okay? Okay, will do. Thank you, my sister. You. All right. Now, you guys, that sister was powerful. She was real powerful. I want to thank her for the opportunity. And she just really made me think about everything. You know, you got me backstage. Let me, um, you ain't on backstage. Let me. Okay, go ahead. Talking. And I want to thank you for the opportunity to be coming on here to speak to me about that. What do you want, Steve? <laughs> no, go ahead and finish up. What do you want? No, I'm, I'm go good ahead. since you had the opportunity to do it. What do you No, go ahead and finish up. No, Steve, I, I want to know what you got to say because it is mighty important, you know, for what you are. I would love an apology so we can do be two wrong people and leave this alone. You know that well, you're you Steve Harvey... And you made decisions and choices that you shouldn't have made because you had raggedy people around you. I don't know why you thought that you was going to win against me. And I, at this time, Steve, I don't even care. I shouldn't be in your divorce decree and nor should be there warrant on me. So stop playing games before you destroy the, less, the, less, the rest of the little integrity that you have and let it go. So what, what are we doing? What you think, of, what you think about Riverbend? I ain't talking. I'm talking about who on my platform right now. I don't know nobody in Riverbend. What do you want? Because you need people to co-sign for you. I'm talking about who you are right now. I'm not talking about Riverbend. I wouldn't even give a kid a name like Riverbend. What do you want? Are you trying to make this right? I'm not seen Harvey. Well, then what are, what are you over here for then, um, sir? To deliver a message, babe. What's the message? Marjorie got your goddamn ass. That who got you? It ain't really Steve. It's Marjorie. That okay, who got your goddamn. <laughs> okay, tell me. <laughs> you got Marjorie. You got Marjorie fucked up. Okay, tell me how. All that goddamn defamatory and slanderous shit you done goddamn said on your live stream. Hey, look, ain't nobody you me, on you, you, hey, hold on. You want, me get, you want me to get you a time stamp? I can give you the well, time stamp. And, and even if you do delete it, we got it. Got what? The whole video. Of what? You defaming Marjorie Harvey. If I said Margie was a hoe, if I said I didn't like her, take me to court. How you know that? How you know that? Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. And you love, yeah, you love, love, love quoting the goddamn law. Well, you don't even motherfucking know the law because if you knew the law, you would have said that shit. Why are you trying to leave out my business? Why are you trying to cuss? Why you got 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 to cuss? Because I can. Because I can. Because I can. So why are you co-signing for Margie? Are you sleeping with Margie too? Nope. Because you a man over here trying to come up for a lady. So are you her nigga or something? Nope. So what is, what is Margie so to you? I mean, why are you over here talking about Margie? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. You nothing. About nothing. Okay. But you defaming, so you defaming Marjorie though. And Marjorie got a whole lot of money. Is she? Okay. You don't think she got, got, got lawyers and shit on deck? Go get them. Send me the yeah. paperwork. She's been to. She's been to. Don't worry. I'm just letting your ass know. She still played with your ass. Marjorie ain't. You just gave her an excuse. And Liz Jackson ain't playing with your motherfucking ass. You just gave her an excuse. Your mouth. Essie. Your goddamn mouth. How many times I need to say it? Which way I need to say it? Do I need to reverse this shit up or what, Essie? 
You tell me. Um, is that all you have to say? Tell them to send me my paper I'm when just, ready. Um, okay. I, I'll be honest with you, Marge, Mark. Not I didn't interrupt you. Margie's no match for me, and neither are you. That's why you over here acting like you spook. But if that's what you feel like you want to do, that's something who just came with that mic gave me a whole different way of looking at this spiritual now. Do what you do. Bring me my paperwork, sweetie. Okay. Goodbye. Anything else? But now, listen, if you want to go get Margie, you put in a ring with me, and we can sell it like on some street stuff, put in a ring with me. I don't care how much money she got. What she street stuff? Like, you know, she already know about dope houses, dealers, and all that, so we can go get in a boxing ring, and we can street fight. <laughs> right. You actually say... You, so she ain't got you, act, so you, then, you actually... Okay. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, you think, you think you're funny, and you really think you're a real man. You really just making yourself look real stupid, and then you come over here telling me about a woman like you have tendencies like that. God is in control. No, I'm just letting you know. I'm just delivering. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm delivering a message. Uh, Why yeah, see, how about herself? that? Why can't Margie deliver the message herself? It don't matter. The, the message been don't delivered. A woman. Why are you delivering us? You got female. <laughs> it's been delivered. Huh? Oh, what difference does it make? It's been delivered. But I, I like a female to uh -huh. me. Well, hey, hey. She's a classy woman. Margie is a classy woman. She know how to do it. Okay, then tell her when she get ready to send me the papers. I'm waiting. Let me know. Okay, stand by then. Okay, I will. Anything else? That's it, baby. You have a good night. You love me? Okay. You love me, though? No, you, you love me. <laughs> and I don't know why you don't shut this down, Steve. Y'all ain't y'all know he tried, but he thought he was gonna trigger me. You can't trigger me. Hi, Miss Sweetie. How are you? Hello. Yes. Miss Essie. Yes, beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. I was calling in because I've been following you for a long time. And I know that there's a lot of people in the background saying that you don't have proof in this, but um I was there when you had your um the little Jamie Jam party. I know that you do have the proof. So those that saying that you don't, I know that you do. I seen it. I've been following you since what twenty, probably twenty seventeen, probably twenty thirteen. Okay. And I also know that you have proof. I also know that you have proof that um that Steve and Marjorie got married during the time that his divorce wasn't final. So I know it's there. And for those who is the, um who, for those who are trying to say that you didn't that you don't have the that you don't have the proof, um don't worry about it because you're doing the right thing. He getting served what he deserves. And as far as that brother saying that she's a good woman and this and that, you can look at her background and it speaks for itself. He, you can't knock her. I mean, like I feel like nobody can knock her hustle, but she did what she did, and that is his that is his karma. Marjorie is his karma, and that's all I had to say. I thank you for that so much, beautiful, and I appreciate you for following me all these years, knowing is what it is. I already know that they know that I got stuff to bring them all the way down, um, and I just appreciate that you believe me and you know what you see instead of somebody telling you something, you know what I'm saying, instead of you like investigating for yourself, because if you put paperwork out yes, there, all you do Black and white, it will I lie see. if you got a crooked person, ma'am. Yep, and I was there. I was there when you was gathering the proof as you was going along as you gather proof. And if they so if they so much in a hurry, all they have to do is go to Geneva Closet. All the proof is right there. She just put a she just put a video up of the stuff that you already posted long ago. And if they so big of a hurry and they don't believe it, go over there and see it for yourself because it's there. And, and probably and probably more than that, if if somebody really want to do it. But I, I thank you and again. Mm -hmm. It's women like you that I might have to call some reinforcements and come back and do what I do. But I won't bow down. Do I, won't do. Do. I won't walk away and I won't be scared. That's right. You're right. Thank exactly. You. Well, well, thank you for having me. 
I'm most for right. sure. I'm loving this. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Beauty Queen. Bye bye. That was a good, good to see. I don't even know how many people I've um, touched or how many people have followed me. I just thank God for that. And if you guys don't know how the ladies getting up there, there's a link at the bottom of the video. You'll see StreamYard and you can just click that StreamYard and I can click you on. So if you click the StreamYard link, nobody will really know who you are. But right about now, I don't think Steve Harvey's going to be stupid enough to keep coming at the women like he's coming at the women. He said, Margie, come after me. That'll be a good one to see. And if she do, it doesn't matter with me. I got to do what this lady just told me on this phone. And that's for real. God's in control of this. He brought this situation for a reason. And I really do in my heart feel like y'all got me because I'm not going to back down and I won't walk away. For whatever reason, God got me here. And I know I need to stay planted and stay no matter what. And there, and I can tell when somebody keep coming to you, they're intimidated. Now, how stupid would it look for Margie to come sue me? And I seen a video over there where she said they said she a crack whore. She they got the actual thumbnails. That would be like you're maliciously and you premeditated to come get me to allude to the fact that I have issues with Margie, but nobody else do. You would really make yourself look like a damn fool. And to come over and tell me that Margie is coming at me. Margie's not even a, a, a the type of person that can come for me and think she's going to lose, I mean, win against me. Um, there's a lot of damaging information in Steve Harvey court papers, and that's what they're afraid of. Am I going to say something about that? Margie was a lot of a person who was writing stuff, too, and they were signing Mary's signature on documents. So they're not going to do nothing to me. I guess he want to come over here and make his point or say whatever he's going to say. But what I'm not going to do... I don't have to be angry anymore because I know I got the victory. I know God's showing me what's up. I know it's what it is. And to threaten me about Margie of all people, could, I would rather them go get Mary. Go get Mary. Mary would be more of a challenge than Margie. Margie ain't even got books says She got dope says She got street says That's how she plays Steve Harvey. He want to sell that coast out of Margie and tell her she saved all my videos. Okay. And when y'all sue me, I'm going to get all the videos that's talking about her and all the thumbnails. Matter of fact, maybe I should start getting my evidence now since he feel like Margie will come sue me. But if she qualified and she certified, send her on. I can't wait to see this. I got some videos that Margie had too, but she told me who she was. So nobody's scared of Margie. And he got to put everybody else in it. He said I ain't calling the females River B and Margie. He can't even fight for himself. Come on now. Stop it. You busting now. Everybody know it. Somebody's watching me. I can't get no gold I see. Uh -huh. um, yeah, you know what? That's good too. But I be want people to get out what they have to say because, you know, everybody has that day that they need someone to talk to. But sometimes that one conversation could be the one thing that you need to hear or that one comment that you need to see to let you know that God got you and he got me. And I really need to hear that sister conversation today. When Steve go to jail, Margie going to jail too. I would think so if they got an indictment on Steve. I would think so. And he's really stupid to just think he's the only one watching. What about River Bend? Well, what about her? Come on now. And jealous? No, baby, I don't get jealous of women. I know women jealous of me, and I've seen women right in my face do it, and I blow it off. So that's really why I be friends with older women instead of younger women, because sometimes, not trying to be disrespectful, they just got this aura about themselves that, like, I'm me and you are you. Don't get jealous. We can work together. Keep it real. Let me see. She say what? As a survivor. Steve makes me sick to my, you know what? Me too. Because I know he came over here doing that and keep on doing that. It's okay. But I survived and look what God created out of me surviving. So he ain't doing that but making himself look worse as a man and he making himself look worse as an individual and a person. And I am going to contact, since he just want to keep threatening me, <laughs> I think I am going to contact, um, start contacting radio station stuff. Maybe we should start asking for Steve to be removed off of the network and off of the radio stations since that's what he need to do. 
Okay, then Stacy, do that. I already know Steve, but if y'all y'all want to do it, then the lady who know how to track, Stacy, you holler at me, and you go get those stations, and y'all go find who it is, and just give me the address, and then I'll turn it over to the police because Steve think he's untouchable, and he say Margie got a lot of money, so he feel like money can win this one. God's gonna win this, not money. What we said. Yeah, exactly. But Mary ain't going to do like I do. They go get Mary. Mary's going to be quiet. I'm in their divorce case, but I can't get the paperwork. I'm in a divorce case and I can't get the paperwork. How you file a charge against me and I can't fight the case because I can't see the paperwork? I just told you all the crimes that they had committed in the paperwork. Collusion, conspiracy, extortionist, fraud, realty fraud, uh, fraud itself, embezzlement, uh, probably a little money laundering and identity theft. So I hope that they do try to silence me. Uh, thank you, Fred. And I hope they try to, y'all don't make me go get Cat, because I sure thought about going to get Cat. I sure thought about sending Cat down and finding him. And y'all just think Cat roasted him for no reason. I know Cat seeing what's going on, but I didn't want to put Cat in my mess. But I don't know. I may end up doing that too if it comes out to it. But I'm not going to let Steve Harvey win against me. And nor am I going to allow him to violate no other women again. And see, you say, I've been through it. You guys got to keep fighting no matter what. That's the thing about it. Continue to fight no matter what you went through because nobody's going to fight that battle better than you. And nobody's going to fight it the way that you do. It's a lot going on with Bertie Mac. I got a video. Where Mary talked about that and how he used to be on the back of the bus. Like I said, I'm going to be releasing some things since people think I'm playing with them. At the end of the day, I'm not worried about nobody suing me. And if Margie sued me, child, she better be worried about that book and what Jimmy to put out in that book. That's what she better be worried about and all her little dirty, dope secrets don't come out. That's what you need to be worried about. He made me sick to the man that I know. Detroit in the house. I mean, you you know what? You you know a real woman by her characteristics and her grammar, who she is. Um, clothes and stuff don't make me. I make myself because God created me to be that. But Mary did tell me I was the only woman that she's seen at, between a woman and a man that I stood up against Steve Harvey when nobody else can. So I just want to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm paying attention and trying to stay focused. I'm not going to let him belittle me no more. But he needs to really pay attention to what he's doing and change it before he end up in prison because his name is on some documents. And um, this dude is back on my page again. If you come on my page and you start cussing, I'm going to just take you straight off. But I'm just letting you come over so you can incriminate yourself some more because it's obvious that you need some attention because Margie's not there. What do you want, Steve? Who's cussing now? Steve. I never cut. I said you I never cut. Yeah, you, you were cussing and you were loud, loud. No, I wasn't cussing. What do you want? <laughs> Are you okay, triggered? Okay, so you want to change the voice a little bit back then? Are you triggered? So what you did, you changed it. What, what do you want, sir? <laughs> yes. What? Marjorie. Jimmy Townsend. <laughs> Marjorie. Jimmy Don't Townsend. motherfucking play. What, why you Why you got to get a woman to fight your battle? <sighs> you sound like a little female right there. Don't do that one. Do another one. Don't do that. That, that. Your feminist side came out. Don't do that, sweetie. What do you want? Marjorie, don't play and see. I'm not going to talk about anything else because I'm going to take you out. Are we talking about something? <laughs> 
You sure be gonna she don't, boom? She don't play, S. I know she slap she a don't. boom, I can tell. Okay. I know she slap a boom, I can tell. Okay. Calm okay. down. What did you want my number for? <laughs> the same way. Huh? What did you want my phone number? For? What did you want my phone number for? To talk to you. About. About. Uh, I don't want to talk about Marjorie. No. Okay. How about that warrant for okay, your arrest. What about it? Okay. What about it? Yeah. So that's what I wanted to call and talk to you about. You finna take it off? I can't take it off. Okay, so then we ain't gonna. If you, I mean, I would be calling if I was gonna take it off. But what would I be calling for if you can't help me take it off? I mean, I can help deal? you pay it. I can help you still. You, you still got to pay it. You know that, right? But you know, if I pay it, that's saying I'm guilty, right? I'm not guilty or nothing. No, it ain't. No, I don't know it ain't. Cause you failed to appear for court. What's my charge? Failure to appear. For what charge? If you got a court hearing and it's failure to appear, what is my charge that I was supposed to appear for? For violating a court order, Essie, in the state of Texas. The okay, so I didn't live in Collins County, so what Through was the Through Mary Harvey. Through Mary Harvey. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so... I'm I'm being you know, arrested. I know. Oh hell. You know, you, you, you don't play crazy. Don't know. motherfucker play crazy. I thought it was God I damn it, don't play my, crazy. Why you gotta get, yeah. gotta get a hyper? I'm not Mark. Oh, you know exactly you what you did though. You know what you did? I need you. What did I do? Violated the court order. What did I do? I did what? Violated the court order. What was that? What was the court order? Failure to appear. Failure to appear on what charge and what crime? Violating a court order. Yes. And what was the court order and what is the violation? You know exactly what the... <laughs> you know exactly what the damn court order is. Come on now. You know. Stop. And you better stop playing crazy. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh -huh, hell. Shouldn't have put a line of your subscribe. You ought to be ashamed. You ought to be ashamed. What I'm lying about. What I'm lying about. Yeah. What I'm lying about. See, when you have a failure to appear, that means you're being charged with a crime. If you've been charged with a crime. Not, ne not, not necessarily. Say, not necessarily. So, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay, so and that's all. Listen, listen, Essie. Come and down, damn. Come down so I can understand what you're saying. You too hot okay, to get you a drink. I'm trying to understand. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Listen. So, I'm listen, talking, listen. listen. Calm down. Let me ask Listen. But you're asking too many questions, with? though. You said I'm being Let charged to a crime through Mary. So how's that? I just told you. Then you had a. Page if you don't okay. want to give me the answer to my question. I mean, I you do got have a first one. Okay, first of all, you got a delay. Okay? What? What? So, a delay. But listen to me. Let me just tell you why. First of all, you in a court order along with Mary Harvey with a gag order and a cease and desist. All, anything related to Steve Harvey. And, and their divorce. You know that, right? Okay, you violated that. Essie, yeah, you violated it. So they sent you to court, the state of Texas sent you some paper saying come to court so we can talk about this violation you did. You failed to appear, Essie yeah, Barry. Now you got a warrant for your arrest an outstanding warrant for your arrest, Essie Bear. 
This shit ain't no goddamn fake news. It's true. All you anybody got to do is go to Collins County uh, website, county website, to the sheriff's office and Google Essie Berry. Her name gonna pop up. Y'all make so sure y'all go Google that and pop up yeah. and print the warrant out and then put it on the internet. Get to all the bloggers. Make sure y'all give it to all the bloggers. Go ahead. Okay. So sure that's why you got. Share this, share this, share this um, thing. Steve said, I got a one top of my arrest. Go, he told you where to go find it. When y'all find it, please go share it with all the bloggers. Anything else, sir? Collin Collins County, Texas. Share it, department County. website. Collins Google, County, go to Texas. the warrants. They got, a, they got a section where you got warrants. Go to it and, and type in Essie Berry name. They gonna pop up. Yeah. And so when it pop up, what you think gonna happen? It just popped up. Then what? I'm just saying. I'm just telling y'all subscribers. You know. And please, y'all. Please, please make sure y'all go and pull that up and go give it to Sherelle's World. I'll y'all find it. I'll give it to Storm. Please go give it to all the bloggers on this website to say let people know that Steve Harvey is threatening me. And I am connected to Steve Harvey. That's why I've been talking. So please go pull the warrant up and share it with And the they were talking about, okay, and they were talking about giving Storm a break. Nuh-uh. Storm keep on doing it. Ain't no motherfucking oh, break. I, 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 part, I took that, I took the um, transgender to Storm. Don't worry about, don't go out to Storm. I, I won't do that anymore. The transgender that Storm talked about, I gave him all the information. That was not an exclusive. Essie Berry gave the storm. The lady talked to me about it. Oh, you we know, know we know. Well, we know all that. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to make sure I take account for everything that I do. So you uh -uh, want to uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. We got storm too, Essie. I'm trying to tell you now. You, you don't believe nothing, do you? Yeah, I believe you. I believe that you are Steve Harvey. I believe that you're a natural born liar. I believe that you're scared. I believe that you don't know how to say I apologize. I believe that you beat the hell out of winter because I saw the paperwork. I believe that you tried to molest Mary's son in the barn. I believe that that goat situation wow. that you in the barn was for real. I believe all that because you know why? Because you tried to gag her instead of just leaving her alone. And I believe everything she told me because of okay. how you've done right now. You talking about Steve Harry though, right? I'm talking about you, Steve. I'm not Steve. I'm Tim Walton. If you want to persuade yourself, <laughs> Tim Walton, Harvey Steve, Booger Nose, Skeleton Face, Bart Ass, I don't really care. I know you're Steve. So is there anything else you want to I'm correct me Steve. about? Or? Okay, so what do you want? Anything else? They know where they want to go find me now, if that makes you feel better. So anything else? That's it, babe. You have a good night. Maybe. And you know I'm gonna put them conversations out there from Instagram, right? You see how see how the devil comes out when you try to trigger somebody. That's this was right. Don't trigger. See, he can't speak on it because he a fraud. That was hilarious. And then he tried to come back and change his voice a little bit, y'all. Y'all saw that a little bit. Yeah, okay. And he said we coming out the storm too. Who is we? Us, our, and Lynetta did say that all of them, all the people that came at me are having problems and issues right now. Look how Steve keeps jumping on his mic. And I think he got mood swings. And it said in those papers, and now let me tell you something what we ain't going to do. If I get served anything, anything that I know that was legal in there, from squash motions to people pissing on themselves, of course, I don't have to tell the dissection, show the documents. I can just say it. I mean, why would I have to show it? And I just know everything. Just like the conversations that Mary told me, I kept a lot of conversations because I had to pray about it because it was real crucial. But sometimes you just have to finish letting God and let go. And like that sister said, I didn't pick this battle. God knew I was finna, you know, um, do what was right. And it felt real good not going off on homeboy. 
because I'm just letting him crucify himself. And he looked, Madre. I think that's how Boom calling her name right now. It didn't even make a mockery of himself. Y'all, I'm going to cut this video down and I'm going to share it. And I want y'all to share it too. I just wanted you guys to see how simple minded are you. This man can't stay away from me. Either he's worried that I'm going to tell something and he ain't going to be able to walk free. Um, I do believe that he's fascinated with me. I do feel like some kind of way I turn him on because why keep coming on my page? Why keep doing any of that? And the sister was right that came on. Why get upset? Because I got the victory, so I don't have to get upset because I know the truth. And I always have heard that Margie went with Boone. I just didn't know she had a kid by him. I wouldn't have thought that Lori was his. That's some some backdoor black folks, Jerry Springer stuff. So now he's saying also that they're they're monitoring all my videos. Okay, please monitor them all. Like, share, subscribe. If you do not turn into this channel, every day at 8 o'clock in the morning, there will be a, a video released to prove my truth. If I don't have the video, you guys can go back from 2017 and start with Geneva's Closet, and you can kind of work from there and go from there and see the rest. A lot of these people are sold out. A lot of these people are doing these different things, and they think they're not supposed to be exposed. I don't know what these Hollywood country folks, whatever they is, thought I was going to do. But Steve, he's very predictable. Look at him. You know what I'm saying? Instead of him just saying, I apologize, that really what really baffles me, y'all. I'm going to get off in a minute. What really baffles me out of all this, I only came to ask for an apology from Steve Harvey. And he's doing all this. And to know that he still want to threaten me about somebody it's going to go big if y'all try to sue me or come get me either way. So you're really making a ruckery of yourself. So whatever you choose to send me, send me. If you're going to give me some, give it to me. Don't threaten me with a good time. I don't want to hear nothing about Margie. Margie's not compatible with me. Margie's not even a woman that she even want to be. Let's alone trying to be a woman like me. I know she's in my caliber. And look how quiet he got. He couldn't even answer none of them legal questions. He want to call Margie because he can't stand on his feet by himself. Well, they say if Margie wear the pants, Steve came over here just now, spooked or whatever your name is, Steve Harvey, and you just showed me that you don't even wear your own pants in your house. You on another platform calling Margie name because you can't stand your own ground. And then you think somebody worried about what you're going to do to Storm. Nobody's worried about what you're going to do to Storm. Then go get the paperwork and do what you're going to do. Storm wants you to say his name. You heard what he said. We was going to get Storm a pass. We was going to get Storm a pass. We ain't going to get Storm nothing now. Then don't get Storm nothing now. Nobody cares. I'm going to let the rest of these comments go. And then you guys are coming back on, um, I think, tomorrow with Storm a Road to do a video about him uh, and who he is. And then I just wanted you guys, I put him on the platform because anything you say could incriminate yourself. So like him coming over here threatening me about Margie, I wonder what he thought that meant to me. It must have meant something to him. But then if y'all want to be good about it, go share this, this video with the rest of the bloggers and show how Spook Media TV did that. And the girl who know how to trace sites, go trace that site, Spook TV Media, and trace T-H-E-E-T-R-U-F-F-F, -F -F, number five. That is Ricky Anderson. And then I guess the rest of the players in there, you can find them the way you want to. Um, you ain't got to do this girl named Blue, because if you see a lady named Lake Blue in there, that's my sister. She's probably still getting paid with fried chicken, $2,500. I really don't care. What I think now is this fascinating, because I think I really got him shook. Steve, he's a different type of dude. He don't know how to come and change. Yes, this is messy, y'all, ain't it? Oh, my God. He don't know how to come and fix what he has done. So God is going to fix all this. And like the girl said, I didn't choose this. God chose me for this battle. And don't threaten us about Sonya Norwood. Go get her and tell her to come over here, too. It's all good from this day forward. And I'm thankful. Thank God that 
you know, certain things I say, but at the end of the day, I say what's true. I say what I feel. I'm very compassionate at, and I know God. And at the end of the day, I'm going to ask God for forgiveness before I ask man. This was a very good live. I thank the people who support me. I thank the people who came on today to speak their truth and to help watch me. I hope you guys share this with more subscribers. So, you know, people want to investigate, go tell Cheryl World to go get the, 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 the um, go get the warrant. Go tell Chronicle to go get the warrant. Go tell SAT to go get the warrant. He couldn't even tell me what the warrant was for. He couldn't even tell me what I was being charged for. He said I was being charged through Mary Harvey. How you get charged through somebody else and you done committed um, child abuse? They say, that's Tasha K. Okay, is that what you think? No problem. They say, I've been there, Jackie. What does this say? What's she say? Preach the truth or shame the enemy as as usual. Ah, oh, she said you can't turn her into a housewife. You can't do that when you left your kids on the side of the road pretty much. Did you hear what Joe Biden said? Come on now. Steve on Donald Trump's side. Come on. Uh, Monica, Monique, I'm going to show y'all something Monique did in a week or so, so y'all can see who Monique is. I'm exposing on C-Dub page, but just to see that there was a video used with her face in it and coming at me, stalking me from Spook TV Media, and she did nothing to try to change it. And it doesn't even matter now. People disrespect people all the time. Every time Steve pops himself up on my platform, it's called stalking, it's called harassment, and it's called telling on yourself. And he's real good about telling on himself. What did she say? Of course I got all the documents backed up. Do you think I'd be silly enough not to be? And everything that I don't have, Geneva Claus will have it for sure. That's what I do know. And I'll just make sure she got everything else now. Because if you come for me, you destroy yourself. If Steve Harvey sent me anything, he destroys himself. And he said trigger. If he sent me something, I'm going to trigger. And that means that I'm not going to get angry like sister said. I'm going to expose the truth and let God do the rest. And right now I can tell that he shook. Very much so. And Ship, I want to thank you for just being there for support. I want to thank all y'all for being here, you know what I'm saying, as far as it's concerned. But I just really thank God that you see things for yourself. And I'm not the only one watching. I saw one of the subscribers say that people watching Spook TV Media page, he just did a video the other night, and Steve did whatever. So then he came back and tried to sound different. A leopard don't change their spots. It just get bigger, dirtier, and then you see it more clearly. So please pay attention. And ladies, if you don't know, learn anything else, learn to stand for yourself. Learn to let not let nobody violate you. Learn to be who you're going to be. Uh-oh, on the south side, shot town in the house. Um, I'm going to be going back to Chicago real soon because there's something about Chicago that you feel your blackness. I loved it when I went up there and I'm ready to see my family again. So there's so many people all around the world that's holding me down. I saw somebody from South Africa, Connecticut, um, New Jersey, New York, Washington, D.C., Alabama, Minnesota, Missouri, um, and a lot more places. But I think that's some of them, just to let y'all know. This has been a wonderful live. I really appreciate y'all coming and tuning in. I think me and Storm are going to do our thing tomorrow. Um, Ms. Lynetta Kane. I think there's a reason why God brought me in your life and he brought you in mine because Lynetta can't be on it, you guys. When you don't know it and she sees something wrong, she starts to see that's what them older women do. They don't want to hear this. They're going to show you what life they're about. Lynetta can't get up there calling lawyers, calling the FBI, the CIA, the D with the double G, and she make, she make a difference. She done hit me up with two lawyers and they're watching everything too. So when people think they're getting away with stuff, God got people like Lynetta coming and come on through and be like, here you go. Like the lady who came on the platform today speaking that knowledge. Like sisters that have carried me through the years and have seen all this. Y'all see it for yourself. He told you where to go to find a warrant, but he can tell you what the warrant is for. He told y'all where to pull it up, 
but he can't tell you what I'm charged for. If this is a man, why would he be personally concerned? But he sure had a lot of pertinent information in the case is sealed. He sure is invested in this case if it's not you. But now I laugh at my enemy because I do rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Child, I'm going to lay down and for to eat me a couple pieces of fried chicken and whatever else I want to eat. And tomorrow, y'all going to see me over there with storm. And I have to say, I am humbly grateful for every woman who spoke on my platform, for everyone who leaves a comment. And I can tell you guys something. Fame is nothing to me because I don't want to gain the world and lose my soul. I would rather have my soul and gain the world and the world that is within that's supposed to be for me then I worry about them. But if it means losing who I am, if it means changing who I am, if it means falling short and I don't deal with God, I don't want to do that. I need to stay focused on what I need to stay focused on. I had a good time, you guys. God bless. Know that I'm not going to say something if I can't prove it. It's never what I say. It's always what I can prove. And when someone come for me, I'm letting y'all know I was raised by the old school and God done brought a whole lot of old school sisters in my life. Like Miss Lynetta Kane, this lady named Loretta, this lady named Miss Smith. Um, it's getting ready to get powerful. So God's going to show me. And that girl, Miss Sharon, that came today, I would love for you and honor for you to speak about your book because you could tell that you walk with the light of God. You didn't have to say it. I felt it. I knew the presence. And when you come straight and politically correct, the devil can't handle that. Steve is the devil. And I really want y'all to any good platforms that y'all listen to that you go and you feel like they're doing something right. Then share my video with them. Don't put my video on a platform that they just sharing it to be able to talk about it, but they're not doing anything. I don't need you to talk about it. I need you to make a difference and do something about it and do what we need to do. And she said that there is the only exposed with Margie. They expose all they sales. Y'all, I'm trying to make sure I get all the comments so I don't forget nobody. Ain't that something? This is how he do. So now I'm sure whatever he's going to do, I will let you guys know. I'm not going to not post something. I'm going to continue to post stuff and let y'all know what it is now. Because at the end of the day, I, like, I don't know how to be afraid. I don't know how to walk away. God has brought elderly sisters, older sisters to be like, girl, you better not back down. Like the letter say, I got you. Last Friday, Lynetta called me, and this Friday just passed, and she said, I got somebody, well, this week, and she said, I got a lawyer I want you to talk to, high-profile lawyer, you know what I'm saying, and they watching everything. It's just the point that this woman didn't know me, and she got lawyers calling me, showing what Steve Harvey has did to me. The only person that would be so invested that called themselves spook, you are pertinent to the case, you are pertinent to the case, and now you're worried because everything is coming back, like they said, a three-circle and it's coming to your face. So nobody's scared of you. It's just making it better that people see who you are for themselves. Lynette said, preach, preach again. You're making me shout over here. You better go on. You better say it. Now, look, y'all, when I get off this platform, Lynette going to be the one of the first ones to call me. She's a very special lady, and she's so genuine and real. And sometimes when I say things and she responds, she had me laughing because of her truth and how honest she is. God has everything for a reason and a purpose, and it doesn't matter what someone say I do. Every day I put out the truth, I'm going to do it more and more to show y'all that I'm telling the truth. But if someone can find those station, I saw the girl who said, y'all check it out and find out for yourself and see who it is. Steve know who it is. I know who it is. She said, I remember from 2014. Ain't that shame all this is going on? They said Maggie needs to get a job. Girl, Maggie, Margie, oh, I like that too, Maggie. Okay, Maggie need to get a job and Miss Spook need to get a job. Mrs. Spook, because Spook, that man who came over here has feminine tendencies because there's no way that you're not going to try to clear yourself, but you're threatening me about a chick that's from Memphis, Tennessee. And by the way, for the people who did call me yesterday, a day, couple days ago from Memphis, Tennessee, they wanted to give me some information about Margie. Now, see, this dude, by him coming on here threatening me like that, it really made me want to go get that stuff about Margie. But I ain't got no beef with Margie. My beef is with Steve. But it was a lot of stuff that they told me, and I wanted receipts. 
But then I said, hold up, wait a minute. I don't want Margie. I want Steve to make this right because Margie didn't make Steve do this. Steve did it for himself. But back in 2011, Steve co-signed for Margie to put out in the newspaper that she was going to sue Mary for slandering her name. Girl, really? Slandering your name? You married the lady's husband and you was cheating with him the whole time he was with Mary. How did your name get slandered? You slandered your own name. So if you're stupid enough to send somebody like Margie to sue me, then sue her. I got three lawyers waiting in the cut for her. Let's do this. I'm not playing this with y'all no more. I'm hanging in there, you guys. I love. No, I didn't want to hang up. That's how you let people know who people are. As uh, Mario Angelo say, when people show you who they are, believe them. That's how y'all win a case, you guys. You can't just get them, say you threaten. They'll be like, well, Margie, who was that on the phone threatening, saying you coming for Essie? See, he incriminating Margie. That's what you got to realize. I will turn around and let people um, sit up and incriminate themselves. He ruined his own reputation by running his mouth. He should have just apologized and this be over with. But if you want to arrest me, okay, I will stay in jail before y'all sit up here and walk anymore. I'm not going to jail, but you ain't that Shirley Strawberry husband. He done traded places. You didn't ask, um, what's it, what, Tommy? And Steve, you barely can get upstairs. You breathing all hard and you trying to comfort a person like me. And you know he was drunk. He couldn't even say what he wanted to say. He was confused. And I was too calm for him. I'm glad. See, God put that girl on the phone. The one I want to call her name who had me on the phone. God put her up here because that she knew that this dude was going to jump on this mic. And I'm glad that God put that young lady up there first. So that way, when he jumped on the mic, I was real calm, wasn't I? Because you, you, I'm, a, I'm anointed. There's nothing that you can do. Y'all better go on and do. Hey, um, right cross, um, shipper. I put my email, victimsfree2022, victims with an S, at Gmail, and please put a born again version 53 in an email for me. So please put those in there. It ain't about dealing with them. I wanted people to see how he is. So when something comes up, we have that footage of him threatening me. That's like a case. That's what a stalker does. And sometimes you have to make your stalker or the person who victimized you, if they trust you and you start taping them and you're doing all this, they're really telling on themselves. And it concerns me now that he's over here like here and threatening me about something that he has no control over. And that's right. My words never change because I'm not a liar. Either you're going to add or you're going to take away. You can't add or take away from something that I say. It's just what it is. Yeah, old man acting like that, ain't it, Madre? And so, I mean, why are you over here hollering about somebody? Now, see, he'd be mad if I go say, look at Boom. Boom came over here trying to defend Margie. You know what I'm saying? Is this one of her men? But y'all like, share, subscribe the video. I've been on here three hours now. I thank y'all joining me. Again, I think I'm going live with Storm. But if I don't go live tomorrow, I'm going to be live next week doing some stuff. I'm going to get the ladies that have responded to me. Somebody about the water in Flint, Michigan. They didn't like the way um, Steve talked about that. The lady is sick from that right now on oxygen. She says she don't really understand that Steve don't know his words made her feel some kind of way. The activists who marched with Martin Luther King, the women who have the books that they're trying to get out to the black community to make us rise. And what their sister said today it is for us to rise. It is time for us to stand. And it is time for us to stand together and not be able to talk about each other, but make a difference with each other. Yeah, he was drunk. Y'all can tell. Well, if y'all missed C-Dub last night, go check on C-Dub pages, C-D-O-V-E. And C-Dub pulled up the stuff to show you how people could change their voice, how they use uh, um, voice enhancers, how, how they do certain things like that. If it doesn't sound like Steve, that's fine. Then surely that means somebody's affiliated with Steve. But if you go on C-Dub page, I'm going to buy me one. They got this thing, and they got like 20,000 buttons on it. And each button makes you sound differently. And then it showed where he was sitting behind his mic. So you can push that button and make yourself sound different on the phone, just like Tommy do and everybody else. And if you're a liar, that's what you're going to do. You're going to stutter. 
And then he say, and storm in trouble too. And we coming for storm too. Who is we? The only people we talking about, storm don't know no um, spook TV media. So the only person I've been over there on the on storm page talking about is Steve Harvey. So why are you coming after storm? Because I'm talking about Steve Harvey or Margie or whoever. Then do whatever you're going to do. You need to be trying to get your family together because they're turning on you. And all your inside people are coming and telling stuff on you too. So just do what you do. God bless you guys. I'm trying to make sure I get all your comments in before I go. I'll see you guys in a day or so. And please like, share, subscribe. I really don't care if you like it. I don't really care if you subscribe. But I do love the people that's there. But I would really humbly be grateful if you share it so someone else can share it so y'all can see the things I'm going through. And where Steve came on that, I'm going to cut that part and just put that part out here so y'all can see that. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, some of the stuff that happened with me, with Steve, with Mary, and when Steve tried to make me put Mary in a mental ward, that is the video that I'm recapping with Geneva on it to show y'all proof of who Steve are and means who Steve is and how he'll try to do things to shut people up. God bless you guys and take care. I'm out.